Right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to be starting off with a custom map. Apparently, it's a remake of a uh, War Age of Empires 2. I was about to say Warhammer map. Age of Empires 2 map, Pilgrim. So it's uh, you start off on an island, and you just make your way to the mainland. And hey. That's pretty much it. Town. It's going to be fun. So let's get this party started. Let's have some fun. Shout out to Nanny Ori for the map. And uh, we made everybody go random just for the memes because, you know, it's, it's kind of funny for people to play their... Um, yeah, play the factions they're not super proficient in, so. Okay, so as people are downloading, the map looks good. All right, let's get it. Let's party, man. Don't worry, we're going to be hosting several games tonight. Yeah, it's a pretty stacked lobby for sure. We got some we got some scary faces in here. So we'll be doing a another couple games tonight. So anybody who joined this game, for example, won't be able to join the other one. So yeah, should be great. Should be great. I know. Let's see. Allied wanted to. Uh, okay, I got Chinese. That's pretty good on a on on this map. Uh, what did what did Allied get? Allied got Chinese too. Ethan. Hey man, thank you. Happy birthday. Even though it's not my birthday, but thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So pretty hyped for this. Gonna be fun. Uh, we need to make our way to the mainland. China is definitely good here. We can set up like a barbican of the sun on the mainland and have like a safe threshold with which to land. And yeah, it should be good. A lot of familiar faces joining. By the way, I'm going to be doing a Dune Spice Wars stream. Dude, that game is so fun. After the uh, recent changes they did, there's it's a, it's great. So if anybody wants to, um, if anybody owns or is interested in playing that game, shoot me a message in Discord. We're going to do some arranged games and whatnot. So um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know too many people who play it outside of Professor Pwn, So <laughs> I'm as old as an elf now. I'm pretty old, dude. Getting, uh, getting up there for sure. All right, so obviously this is a migration map. So we start on a tiny little pitiful island and you have to go like real, real quick. Like Mongols would actually be good here. Oh, look at this, there's only stone and gold. Look at the resources on this island, oh my God. This is gonna be, I'm actually very excited for this. I think Jaren got the sim that he wanted to. So that's what he's like kind of celebrating about. Okay, so we gotta migrate the hell off this island, three China. We are doomed, yeah, we'll see about that. All right, so let's get this going. Then we'll get a village on the main island here. And go from there. Yeah, honestly, the Dune Spice Wars game is very fun, though. It's really, really fun. Yeah, we can't stay here too long. Lest we be trapped in the pits of uh, pits of hell for all time. Did we get enough? No, not quite. Oh, that's right. We probably need to get some food. I was, like, totally omitting that aspect of the gameplay. All right, let's get one boat here. Get a little bit going. Lovely, this uh, yeah. this island. I don't know where the mainland is. I assume it's like over here, some some direction. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out. Oh, uh, obviously we need to cancel that so we don't run out. This is like totally like strange in the build order for sure. All right, so village. Do we? Can we just, there's no space to build on this godforsaken island. God. There's no space whatsoever, so you really got to get out of here quick, or else you're gonna you're gonna suffer. The gunhound's talking about how he doesn't have to build any houses. That's really funny. Yeah, it's true. All right, so we need to get to the mainland like quick. This is just ugliness on this island. Oh man. Okay, so we got our village. Yeah, you have like no room. So playing the islands, it's not like one of those maps where you can play the islands, probably. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be possible. All right, so let's grab you. Uh, saving up for a transport ship. Uh, the Dune game is really fun. It's kind of like a mix of Grand Strategy and RTS. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a good time. Yeah, okay. Somebody's leaving with six villagers. Okay, so somebody else is ahead of me. The Grand Exodus to the mainland has begun. I just deleted like three trees on the island. Yeah, I did. Well, that's why we're, uh, we're getting out of here. All right, so let's grab you guys. Do this. Um, we can have you guys turn in and you turn in and then go here. And uh, we can get you. Have you jump in. Is somebody dead already? I think somebody... Oh, he said to have a safe trip. <laughs> Somebody's in trouble. Alright, so we're going to go to the mainland. Let's get out of here. Um, this is a, this is a like a, I think it's a large size map, but this is a custom map. It's a remake of a classic Age of Empires 2 map, so... Pretty excited to see what it can yield. So we're taking our villagers to the mainland. And uh, we'll see what we can find. All right, let's go Let's go uh, explore this brave new world. 
I know, Pone. How you doing, man? I was just talking about how much I've been enjoying Dune Spice Wars. The game's great. Oh, is this the mainland? I think it is. Okay. The, the Holy Grail, we have arrived. Yes, looks like there's a spot to set up here. All right, cool. Let's get our boat, and we can go do some scouting around. And uh, for now, you guys are going to want to get on... We have gold. So let's just get you guys on wood for now. We need to mine gold on the island. Okay, let's do this. Dear God. Getting a phone call here. All right, um, so let's go do some scouting. We've gotten our little coastal alcove. This is a, a very fun map, though. Yeah, look at look at all the folks migrating from their islands. Yeah, isn't that cool? Hey, right, it looks like we got a little desert biome here. We're gonna be ferrying villagers across, though. The curse upon you for randoms. <laughs> yeah, the random civ lobby. Nobody's happy about that. I thought that was funny, though. I mean, I got I know how to play every civ a little bit, so for me, it's not too bad. I'm like not great at any one except maybe HRE and Roos. Um, but yeah, no, this is pretty hilarious. Oh, hello. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't kill my transport ship, Jarn. Two, three, and huh. Let's make some more of those. Obviously, we want to hit fishing hard. Probably set up a little tower there. We got Gunhound over here. <laughs> Evil China main trying to sink him. He's claiming that somebody's trying to sink him right now, which is pretty funny. Uh, all right, let's get you guys to do this. And then, um, you don't care about the trees too much here now. Ay, yeah, yeah. We're like running into a lot of, a uh, lot of aggression here. Right. Thankfully, nobody's like garrisoning. They could actually straight up kill my ship. Uh, let's go instead of a tower here to secure this to make sure we don't get rushed off the island. Because I feel like if you get blitzed off the island, you're basically just toast, right? Like that's that's how you lose hard. So a fair amount of sheep here. We're gonna keep gathering stone. Get this little ship back up here. Keep exploring. Okay, we see somebody's kind of moved into the center. And this is like one big, yeah, mass down here. Okay. So we're not going to give the same treatment here. We're going to sink that because, you know, every little bit matters. <laughs> we're going to be the villains. Okay, Barbican to the sun right here would be good. That's going to help secure our uh, wood line because wood is going to be... Oh, we could even go down here by that gold. That probably wouldn't be bad. But for now, at least my woodworkers uh, have a place to hide. And the reason why we're gathering stone so early is so we can... Um, Oh, who's that? That's Allied Trex? Yeah, it looks like it's Allied. He's, he's getting a little bit close here. All right, let's keep exploring here. Oh, that's great, Danny. Glad to hear it, man. Yeah, this, this map's fun. It's a blast. I mean, I, it's my first time playing it, but so far I think it's it makes for a really interesting early game. All right, let's grab you guys. Turn in. No, no. Turn in here. Yes, and then we're going to go and uh, see if we can secure this, uh, this big gold node here, because obviously that's going to be how the games are won. All right, so Barbican of the Sun can be done right here. I don't hate that. You can do this. That should be pretty fast there, and then we're going to have that sweet, sweet gold. And uh, then we can pull these guys back, set up another TC on the mainland, and uh, hopefully live our best life. All right. Cool. We got our transport ship. Oh, my God. There's another Barbican right there. Do you guys see that? Damn wolf is just going balls deep on our villagers there. So somebody's setting up a barbican literally right next to me. So it's like neither of us will get this gold, which is going to be kind of funny actually. Looks like they already finished it. Allied Trex did. Yeah, so he's he's pretty pretty well ahead of me at this point. Um, the other landmark I might just build here, although the tax taxation is going to be useful for sure. All right, let's have you guys get in here. Take those villagers to the mainland. Uh, get them on wood and whatnot, and that's going to be done. And then we go back up here. Okay. <laughs> Looks like there's some people suffering right now, for sure. Okay, so we have the Barbican standoff. The two Barbicans can uh, rub against one another. <laughs> hey, man's getting all salty about it. <laughs> I'm double teamed already. Uh, well, it's it's the nature of the beast, man. You know, it's, uh, it's just how it goes. It's just how it goes. All right. So let's set you up here. This is going to be a nice little spot. We'll get one land. I mean, we'll, we'll probably build, like, some sort of Great Wall Gatehouse on the island. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, so the boat should be arriving soon. And go down to the trees. And then we can go over here and explore all this. Barbican's doing its thing. And outstanding. All right. So we're going to have our, our sweet dynasty going, which is going to get us nice and sauced. Wood economy should be coming back in a second. <laughs> Please not you. We're peace. 
this is a this is like a map where you start on an island with basically no resources, and you yeah you just kind of you have to like and there's like a mainland continent that you have to migrate to. So no, what the hell is this? Look at Whisper over here, dude, getting real crazy. All right, so we need to hit that hard. Uh, get an imperial official out here too, and he can supervise that. We'll drop you guys off here. We have our Barbicans banging it out over that gold node. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Let's get more wood. I mean, getting uh, crushing people's islands might not be a bad idea. Yeah, you could be a Corsair hanging out on the coastline. Yeah, I have a nice little coastal position, I think. I would say it's pretty good. Hopefully we can get... I think some... Did somebody get Castle Age already? I was going to say, Jesus. That would be pretty brutal if they did. All right, so supervisor man, let's go ahead and supervise here. And uh, we need to get a TC up soon. I probably should cancel some of the fishing boats. Looks like somebody is just now heading over there, which is wild. Um, probably like palace guard kind of units here wouldn't be bad. Just a couple like little spears because people like to use cavalry on these kind of weird maps like this. So I think that'd be good. Supervisor man, it's good to be there. And we'll set up our uh, town center. Yeah, let's go check like the, the crevices of this island, see if there's any spots. I see a big stone node down there. Might not be a bad idea to send a villager down there to secure that. And by secure, I mean just kind of stand there and look look cool. All right. So the Barbican duel is still going. We haven't been harassed by anybody yet, which is good. Let's get the fishing upgrade. I really should just be saving up that wood, but I keep finding ways to spend it. So we can get that Song Dynasty 2 TC action going. All right, so we could do this the TC down here, which wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's take some bills, do this, come down here, set it up near the Barbican and have the Barbican be like kind of our, our anchor point, right? All right, boys, it's time, it's go time. Let's get it like right by the deer. It's like playing, uh, playing 1v1 basically. Let's make some spearmen to be safe. And then we just basically age up from here and uh, we can grab our boat, which I, I think it actually got sunk, so. <laughs> Red, no! I just see all these people pleading already all over the map. Yeah, we just started. We just started. Alright. So you guys, let's go ahead and get this. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of this. This is going to be like our little, our, our little pirate's cove here for now. Make it nice and secret and safe. And of course we'll have our other TC out here. It's kind of fun, like, using the... Because it's kind of, like, has some Black Forest vibes a little bit. Where we can, like, take this ground here. Okay, let's get you guys to do this. Get the Imperial Official. Uh, he can come down and drop off taxes in a minute. Let's get two more Imperial Officials coming out. You guys can just hammer the gold hard, and let's get some more of these. And uh, then we need to get a, a dock here, too, if we can. All right, so you guys come up. Move that way. This is looking good. We have enemy ships coming, so let's keep making spearmen. Got that secure. Just gonna make little arrow towers here and there, wherever we can. Go drop the sheep off here. And castle age. We need to. We need to turbo turbo speed to the castle age here now. All right. Let's grab a handful of you guys. Turn in. Move to the mainland here. We're gonna stop producing villagers on that island here. So we're just gonna, we're, whatever's like left there is just gonna be the, the crew. Right, how are we looking here? No mortal, no mortal combats yet. Alright, village. Set up a village here. Can we actually do one in the woods? Do we have space? No, we don't. Okay. Hopefully we won't be in supply block too long there. Alright, so our little empire's coming together. Here <laughs> screams in the distance, yeah. It's basically how this is going. Um, need to get a dock up too. The classic supply block, you guys can just hammer golds. Uh, let's get the broad axe upgrades. Looks like we already have them. And no crazy aggression yet. Allied might get crazy, but the one thing I have that's pretty good is I have this like little corner kind of to myself, which is rad. Okay. We got the Song Dynasty. Sadly, it's just one TC. And Taxman can. Uh, is there any resources to supervise? I want to get that gold pretty bad, but as it currently stands, it's not super likely that we get that. All right, so the villager drop-off is here. Still migrating. Cool. Now we just save for Castle Age. Now nah, we just save for the old Castle Age. Yeah, Gunhound getting Castle Age. I'm a little bit slower having gone 2TC. Get some of you guys on stone. 
And it looks like Ape Man has officially died, so let's keep exploring here, seeing what we can find. And we do see uh, we do see Dark Age Rush over here, so I'm gonna need to get some more military tech probably. I feel like it's gonna get pretty crunk pretty quick here. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're getting poked there. Yeah, no, it's a fun map. Fun map so far. Gonna need more fishing. I'm, I'm really neglecting that. That's why I'm like a little bit slower to age up. Granted, I could just could just chill out here a little bit. Okay. So for you guys, let's get the clock tower. Um, yeah, clock tower here. It's fine. We see the other Chinese player. Looks like he's got a little something something on his island. So the age up is on the way. And uh, okay, this is a little bit scary. We're gonna probably slam down a keep right there when the time comes. Yeah, that that would be my guess. Okay, so let's get you, get some docks. So we can start getting more fishing. We see orange up here, migrating villagers. Yeah, this is a little frightening that Whisper is that close. I mean, I could get overwhelmed here pretty good. Granted, I do have a couple layers of defense, so I'm not like helpless, but certainly not not the coziest situation in the world. All right, let's do this, one, one. Slap up a tower right here, and then we can get spring all the placements on it. Okay, it's gonna sink it. And you, let's get you back here. We got this now. And uh, we can get you, and we could, can I fit a keep here though, is the question. We could fit one right here. That's probably not bad. All right, and let's go ahead and grab whatever relics we can. So let's get this down here. Very, very claustrophobic bases, for sure. All right, so the keep is on the way, outstanding. We see this down here, and let's get a little arrow emplacement if we can. Get you upgraded, get some palace guard coming out. Get some more fishing boats, please. And uh, yeah, this actually wouldn't be a bad space, space for like a market. Yeah, so we can do that. All right, guys, we're in it. We're not dead, you know, we're in the game, which is outstanding. Have you grab this relic and then come back here. And I know there's another relic down there. Let's get this little emplacement set up and it looks like that's gonna be Dark Age Rush down there. Yeah, red is gonna be a more immediate threat to us just because of how close he is. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that conflict ends up going. All right, so blacksmith, we need to get that pumped out. Do that, it's facing the wrong way. I don't even know how much that really matters, but... Alright. Cool. Got that, so we're gonna shut those guys down for now. Um, we have our little tower here popping those, which is pretty troll, I would imagine. Um, could be making enemies on too many fronts, perhaps. Alright, let's get you guys back in here. A couple of you can come down here, set this up. Fire Lancers can be pretty good on this little island, I would wager. All right, so let's pull you back up. Do we have any transport ships left? Let's see. Yes, I do have one. All right, so we're gonna move that back here. I would like to get that relic behind the wall if possible. That would be really sweet. Could just rush to imp two. Might not be a bad idea. So close to 69 likes. Yes, the blessed number approaches us. All right, do we not have any gold being mined right now? We do not actually, shit. Okay, so let's move up and up. Um, we have this nice little coastal keep. Hopefully keeping it real. Um, any gold on the island? Yeah, I'm kind of in a bit of a strange spot. I need to take down Allied's little position here to uh, to actually get that. So let's get a single treb. We can shoot pretty safely from the confines of the base. Have you guys get ready to load up. And um, here we got the upgrades coming out. So let's do this. Man, I wish I could get that. Um, let's go like secret agent, see if we can like slip across. Yeah, we have like a safe part of the island. But the issue being is that um, we're kind of like away from all the gold nodes. Wow, that really can't fit. Holy shit, okay. All right, let's get a village here. People are reaching age ups, nobody's age four yet. He's going secret agent here. Allied looks pretty jacked actually. Oh man, he's already got a greenery economy and everything. It looks like he might have been forced out of the water, which is something. Um, all right, let's do this and you can do that. Make another tax official. We're going, we're going the distance, baby. We're gonna grab this and then come like up and under here and see if we can like get the relic. As a matter of fact, if he can get the relic, we can we can do like a secret agent pickup for him. Come on, boys. All right, let's get you down here. Drop you off nice and safe. Get these nodes, get the fishing upgrades. All right, upgrades, upgrades. Uh, we can get the speed. 
Yeah, because we need that gold bad. We're gonna we're gonna become gold starved here in a minute if we don't if we don't find some sort of a solution. All right. Yeah, we have our little tower here. It's able to protect us. Oh god, the wolf! Oh, uh, uh, come on, come on, hustle it, hustle it, man. Oh man, that's unfortunate. I don't think we're gonna make it. Our our boat should be arriving soon. Let's see if the transport ship can saving private scholar here. Oh boy, come on, come on. Come on! He just has to get mauled by the wolf, dude. He's he's sacrificing himself for all of our sins. Okay, almost got this down. And when that's done, we can slam a keep down. Friendship to whoever finishes off 8-man. Oh, come on, buddy! Come on! Oh, the wolf stopped! Oh, the wolf stopped! Yes, we're gonna get another relic. It's only two, but you know, that's two pagodas, right? So that's pretty sweet. Um, okay, looks like I've been torched down here, so that's not good. It's getting there. Excellent. So we'll ride up and up. Is that a trade post? That is a trade post. Okay, so what we need to do now, get a couple of vills on the island. And you guys can... Is that almost done? Let's see if the... Yeah, it's going to target the vills. Yeah, it's a shame. Alright, so we got that. Red's, Red's a little close by here, but we do have the keep, which is, which is excellent. Uh, we were pushed off the stone in the south. No surprises there. And uh, now we need to make some docks and try and get some big trade going. Naval trade. We're, we're going to try and trade like right down the pipe here. Okay. So let's get some of those. Get this going too. The wolves dying on the Jesus. I know they, they tried to. But, you know, the faith endured it would appear. Alright. Alright, let's get some trade ships going there. Cool. And now we finally can grab this gold node, so let's get you guys to do this. Oh, China's coming pretty aggressively after us here. Let's get you guys in the tower. Alright, so let's get Palace Guard. Let's get Nest of Bees. Should be able to overwhelm this army. I don't think it's a lead or anything. Yeah, we have a, we have a decently sized army. Look at like Ali is trying to build here. He's got his landmark there. Finally, we're back on gold, which is pretty mass massive for us. Alright. Okay, let's finish this. Let's take down this village here. There's a little shady McGrady here. He could for sure just push through there, so let's try and wall that if we can. Yeah, land apparently, you know, space is uh, space is becoming a little bit problematic here. Let's we'll see if there's any sort of trade down there. I don't know this map, it's my first time playing it, so we're gonna we're gonna learn it the old fashioned way. Oh wow, is he keep dropping me? Holy shit. Let's see how that works out for him. I mean, we can just make more uh, more trebs and just kill that for free, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's losing bills galore. Yeah, and we're just going to run into his farms, too, and just start doing that. And should be able to knock this thing down, no problem. All right, Palace Guard. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful farm economy we're going to have to put some hurt on. Yeah, that's pretty rough for him. He's going to be idling a hell of a lot of bills. And uh, we can just keep pushing towards Allied for now. Let's grab the stone node. We can move our stuff over here and go start harassing. Red looks pretty chill so far. Let's see if we find any trade here. Alright, you guys keep doing your thing. Let's get you guys going up this way. Allied must have been busy fighting somebody else, because he just seems like he's like not prepared for this at all. Like, he had just no preparation for this whatsoever. I think I get supply blocks again. Oh, strange. Okay, so let's garrison up on here. We got Palace Guard chopping through Vils. Let's get some of you guys moving up that way. He still has a couple guys online down here, so let's go get that. Outstanding. Bring in the monks, provide a little bit of support. Alright, move you guys up there. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty rough for old allied. You know, I wouldn't have even attacked him if he didn't keep dropping me like this, but this is uh this is this is just, you know, a reckoning here. Okay, I don't think there's any trade there. Oh yeah, he's he's toast. He's looking looking to be pretty toast to roof. Alright, so let's go down here. We could set up some stables. He must not have had a water economy. That's about the only explanation I can think of. I'm trying to set shit up here, but man, he's just getting torched right now. 
Um, all right, so do we have another one of these coming out? We should. Let's get some rams coming. Uh, where are you? I don't even know. Somebody's asking for peace, 8-man. I'm looking on the map. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. All right, so we need to go imp now. Um, as far as imperial goes, it's going to have to be on the mainland, I guess. So we can build the... Um, you guys come down here and set all these up. We can set you up like so and do the Great Wall Gatehouse right there. I don't think this is going to be a game for wonders, to be honest. It doesn't kind of feel that way. Yeah, so Allied's in big danger. He's in big old danger. Okay, and our little trade boats are being hammered by uh, eight-man stuff. Might have to do something about that when the time comes. So let's start preemptively getting some upgrades on our boats. Rams are going to come down. <laughs> you don't think he meant to keep dropping it was just the side of his base? You do raise a really valid point. Um, absolutely. All right, what is our eco at? 127? Jesus, we could probably cut that down. All right, so we probably don't need more bills. If only I was the Mongols, all this torching would be pretty good. We do, and, you know, the really a really big bright side too is we secure another uh, node here, and uh, and we're going to be able to get like a full gold gold uh, party off that. Okay, so red is next over there. Oh, Whisper didn't even set up here. Okay. All right, so the age up is upon us. So let's go ahead and do this and get the uh, Great Wall Gatehouse. Set that up here. That'll make it a little bit harder to invade us. I, I will only attack Chris this entire game. <laughs> Smeagol's not making friends, dude. He ain't making any friends whatsoever. The best part about this invasion, though, is the landmass that we get. We get, like, access to a lot. All right, let's do that. Um, you build this here. And then build docks galore back here. Cool. And we should be able to grab that sacred site, too, which is nice. Let's get you on this. All right, hold position. Yeah, village going down. The most iconic duo, <laughs> turn killing Ally Trex is his neighbor. Yeah, it's usually it's it's been a it's been a recurring theme for a long time. Okay, so how are we looking here? We got our little transport ship. What the hell is this? There's like these. Oh, okay. Another another Chinese player is looking to invade me. That's fine. We can come here. We have the Great Wall Gatehouse now, so we should be okay. Okay, so now we know we're going after Dark Age Rush. So let's get the palace guard fully upgraded. Uh, let's get the horsemen fully upgraded. Start queuing out some bombard cannons. And now, like, allied should more or less be contained, I would say. Um, we, I would really like to do something about those trade ships, but yeah, we're going to have to see how we do it. Do you have the trebs still? We do have the trebuchets. Nice. All right. So he's setting up a keep preemptively. Um, down here, we can go ahead and make some fishing boats. Our eco is at 124. So probably need to optimize this a little bit. Let's do that. Do we have any dudes running around not doing anything? We can supervise that. And cool. So I have space for quite a bit. Let's get the dreaded Chinese ram sign going. The forbidden, the truly forbidden tactics. Well, I don't know where Smeagol is. I mean, he's all the way across the map. So for me to go over there and to like try and snipe Smeagol would be kind of a silly play, in my opinion. Like, I assume he's in combat. But yeah, he's, his odds of winning are good. He's a very, very skilled player, so. Okay. That. Start knocking on Heaven's Door a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and get the naval upgrades, because they could be relevant at some point. All right. Uh, yeah, look at that. Gold's a little bit tight. Get you guys on gold. Get the Rams moving in too. Yeah, our, our clock tower in Estevez is, is chilling. Get some bills to come repair it. Rams. We're preparing Rams for the Ram Gods. Rams for the Ram Throne. So looks like it's going to be Dark Age Rush next. Let's see if he's doing anything down here. Alright, let's get you out. Let's leave you. He's mounting the walls. All right, so that uh, Great Wall Gatehouse is pretty close to falling. I mean, he's repairing it, but... Yeah, I believe the Bombard Cannon got sniped. Oh, yeah, he's, he's trying to repair it now. All right, so let's uh, knock down this Gatehouse here. We can grab our army, prepare to party. 
Um, yeah, the trade's getting shut down finally, so that gravy train isn't going to be there much longer. We're going to have to figure out a way to secure that. Who's who's on it right now? It looks like the laws. Okay, it looks like uh, looks like somebody is doing a little funny business there. Okay, Rams, let's go get on the gatehouse. You bombard that down. Palace guard are good. We need to get army tactics stat if we can. So let's supervise that to speed that along. And we can also get the uh, health of siege engines, which is going to be pretty good. Okay, we can move up with our army and trade a little bit. That's fine. When we get through this gatehouse, we might be able to just bum rush him with palace guard. All right, let's do a palace guard rush. Uh-huh. And uh, uh-huh. Looking good. Come on, palace guard. Let's run by. Rams are coming, but we can go ahead and pull you guys and do this. So one and one. You guys take this down and this down. Finish it, finish it. Good, good. If we just take down these traps, it's going to kill all his forward momentum. And then we get the elite horsemen coming as well. All right, so those are down. Let's go explore his base now. Do a little bit of uh, friendly exploration. Food is, I mean, we have a good food eco, but yeah, he's really, really taxing it. All right, let's get you guys partying here. Get the rams going after the keep. You shoot the keep down, trebuchets, you start knocking down infrastructure, like so. And the Great Wall Gatehouse should be back online here in a minute. Alright. Alright, yes, yes. And then we need rams. Rams for the ram god, rams for the ram throne. Cool. So I think we've got the edge in this battle. Yeah, we're having our, our Chinese duel here on the, on the coastline. I need to get Pagoda set up too. Um, but we need to get the Dynasty's action for that. Yeah, I don't have that at the moment. All right, so let's move into his base. I don't think he's going to be able to stop us now. I mean, I don't think we'll kill him or anything, but, um, you know, it'll it'll put a little hamper on things for him. All right. Progress is progress, baby. 26 bills. Let's get you back on golds. Fishing economy is going great. Unfortunately, our trade is shut down. So after this, the main idea is going to be to um, stabilize the trade on the coast. I gotta be better about looking at chat too, seeing what's going on there. Could make some bow chads. Wouldn't be a bad idea, just have a couple to kind of control the lands here. Okay, let's do this. And then for you, we can set this uh, landmark down here. Okay, we do that right there, it's fine. That's gonna unlock some dynasty action for us. And just keep rolling through the old base. Perfect. Um, let's go around here and like get in his farms. Uh, hand cannoneers, sure. Bombards and whatnot, ready to party. Palace guard, go shut down his farmers. Surprised more people aren't fishing, to be honest. Yeah, there's a fair amount of Hellstrom rocket batteries. There are. Um, all right, so let's get you get this. We're just setting up like a nest of towers, so I can kind of keep tabs on what's going on around here. All right. Yeah, farms are heavily disrupted. He's trying to get away with the uh, Scholar, which, do I have any laying around? I believe I do. All right, you come get this and take it back to the old building there. Nice, okay, we're finding like his little like rat's nest areas where he's he's got all his stuff here. All right, so let's get the Rams moving in and they'll start taking down buildings, hopefully. He's charging my arty, which is smart. Well played there, well played, my friend. Uh, what's going on here? Holy shit, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, he's he's already dying somewhere on the map. I don't mind. I honestly don't mind letting him recover a little bit. He is my neighbor here. Mm. We might want to call our chads down to just sail the seven seas. All right, so we'll get our chads moving down to control that coastline. And uh, we get you guys back here. Can they go that way? No. Okay. Yeah, Rams are just plowing through his base. Yeah, tra trading with player docks is good. Palace of the Sultan. Oh man, he's he's trying to live here. Okay, so maybe, maybe... Perp, are you going to attack me? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna test his, test his honesty here though. Or help. Let's see. We're gonna go do this. <laughs> he says turn mercy. He says my only enemy is Chris. All right, sounds good. So we'll let him live then. All right, so this guy's gonna go get the relic. We can do this and grab this relic and then grab that, take it back to the base. And cool. So we got this all secured. I'm just going to make like a little arrow tower so we can kind of keep tabs on things. 
And uh, yeah, let's do this and this. And then we can get on that node there. All right. You guys do that. Build the spirit way somewhere safe. I mean, he asks for mercy, but to be fair, he started this. He attacked me, so we gotta we gotta purge him off the lands here. What crazy map? This is a uh, this is a map where you. Um... All right, so I need to do get that trade back online if we can. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna just clear the. Mind if I clear your TC base perp? Blocking my stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like be, be homies here. We're gonna, we're gonna ask for the old permissions. And his base went. Yes. All right, sounds good. We're gonna go after the TC. Purple's like basically our ally. It looks like it seems like he's very, um, yeah, he's willing to do the vassal, vassal action. All right, so let's knock this down. Yeah, it looks like purple is purple is there chilling. We're being hit by teal. Teal is dark age rush. Yeah, that makes sense. Not surprised. The hatred must be flowing. So we'll just make a Chad fleet here and then. Uh, let's get out of here. Actually, let's go. Let's go fight some bigger fish. Keep clearing this out. Allied's base is here. Cool. So we got little towers keeping tabs on things. And what I'd like to do now is build the Spirit Way to unlock the full Dynasty Warrior's power. So we'll come down here and build it um, in the corner if we can. Yeah, like right there. Cool. You guys get on wood for now so we can spam rams. Uh, let's see what more religious characters we have laying around. I'm pretty sure there was a relic down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Right. There you go, and back. And then we need to get the pagoda set up too. So we'll do that soon. Yeah, China's gonna be hurting pretty bad. We got the old Treb knocking knocking down the farms here. Sounds good. Smeagol's Smeagol's coming with what appears to be a landing force. So let's uh, let's go deal with that if we can. And now that's pink space. So this is the last of the the Chinese Empire, if I'm not mistaken. So you always want to set up towers uh, in the ruined empires to make sure that nobody comes back. And like tries to repopulate their stuff. It's an anti anti Smeagol tech, really. I'm gonna start going after Chris though. Has to be the case. He's very strong. Um, I know we have 60 bills on wood. It's a little bit overkill. And let's get a, another scholar out. Looking good. So they're gonna build that. Then one, two, two, three, and two, three. Cool. So that's where the pagodas can go. We'll keep you here. Um, the last of his stuff here has been finished. So now we need to get the trade fleet going. That's Emperor Jaren. Yeah, he's getting fat trade. I don't know if I can allow that. Granted, he's going to run out of wood on the main island here soon. Um, let's delete these 18 vills or maybe just go take this gold before I delete them. Okay, do I still have my marketplace? He destroyed it. That's pretty troll. We, we're definitely like doing very well in the land department. We've cleared two people off. We have a minion on the coastline, which hopefully he doesn't backstab me at some point. I don't know if he will, but hopefully he doesn't. Um, let's get you. Go to the pagoda. Yeah, we can grab another relic there. So I kind of want to leave like the other continent alive and just hoard resources. Because I, I know how good Smeagol is. And if, he, if he, there's no natural predators to him, I could probably kill Red. I'm pretty damn jacked right now. Um... But I don't want to... Yeah. Okay, he's just trolling me here. That's pretty funny. His last laugh, dude. The last laugh of, uh, of this, this fine gentleman. Okay, we got a lot of pa palace guard. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're just going to ram these walls down pretty hard. Okay, how we're looking. We're being bombarded a little bit, which is going to hurt. Our eco is 110. Probably not a bad time to delete our land-based army. Yeah, because the Elephant Master is helping here. Let's do this. I just want to get a keep here to be safe. And is there any more walls to take down? There are. All right, so we can one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for this trap to do it. How are we looking here? Yeah, it's the Ruined, ruined Empire. No, it's Red's Empire. Okay. All right. 
So all's good. And uh, we can get the fishing going again. We're gonna delete our land army and go water and just fortify our coasts with uh, with whatever we can, really. I have a pretty good trade route here, but it looks like this one's pretty... Oh, hold up, actually. I could just do this. So those will pop out in a second. Keep these. Uh, cancel the rams. What are the upgrades we want to get? Um, do we want biology? We get the, the building health. Yeah, and from here we're basically chilling. Unless that gentleman betrays me and backstabs me, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to do some trade with these docks down here. Because if he's going to be my vassal, essentially, then I might as well take advantage of that, right? We're going to go hammer the Chinese base. See what we can get done there. Continue building keeps. Holy crap, Red is a tyrant. Yeah, well, Red could be strong. Let's grab this. Uh, hopefully his elephants don't attack me. Yeah, I don't think they will. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be chilling here. He's trying to get villagers back on the mainland, but we're gonna go try and put a fork in them. There can only be one Chinese player here. Let's try the dock. Yeah, I have, I have docks with which I can trade, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's go, Chads. Knock this down. That could. That's probably most probably all of his landmarks. All right. Yeah, that's looking pretty bleak there. I don't know if it's going to be finishing him off completely. Um, get the full navy upgrades too. Yeah, that's his last landmark. Else he wouldn't be desperation repairing it like that. All right. GG. Did somebody just get a wonder? Uh, no, no, okay. I thought, for a second I thought it said somebody has a wonder down. I'm like, dude, what the hell is this? Okay, that's a pretty, it's a pretty sweet trade route there. All right, uh, let's switch it out to some chads and let's get some chads going up here. Get a big old scary Chinese Navy going. You guys keep lumberjacking. Let's hit the pagoda again and max out our goats. We're going to be using Fire Lancers anyways at some point. Yeah, this map's really fun. I like it. It's it's very interesting. Oh, Smeagol's going hard in the paint. We're going to need to troll Smeagol soon or else he's going to he's gonna overwhelm. Take over everything. <laughs> Dark Age Rush has this revealed map. Yeah. He's just seeing all the evil now. Yeah. All right. Let's keep the trade going. No, oh, sorry, purple. Didn't mean to. Oh, looks like somebody already took care of him. So, Taren, let me trade. Uh, go for it. All right. You have uh, dock emplacements. Oh, do I have dock emplacements here? Hmm. Only on one of them. So if I delete that, I think we're okay. All right, so we're going to sail across, go do a little Smeagol, Smeagol reconnaissance, see how scary he is. Let's get this, get the tax man to come out. He's still supervising, let's supervise this. You supervise that, or even just collect taxes. We're going to go make sure he's not trading at sea. Uh, passing by. All right, so we got to hit Smeagol. Yeah, let's do this. He's got all his like transport ships just being rats. If we could push him out of the water, that could be a big step forward for sure. You have our elephant overlord down there. I'm checking to see if purple is happy. And let's go shut down all of Smeagol's stuff, and we can even steamroll his island as well. Yeah, the TC I can't help. All right, so we're doing some good damage to Smeagol here. He's getting the business a little bit. Yeah, he's losing some stuff on the coast. 
Um, the Rams, we can delete them. They're taking up supply. And we need to get more uh, military infrastructure around here. In case it gets ugly or I get invaded, we need, we're going to need that. Allied Trex has been eliminated. Okay. So red is caught in like a sandwich hell. Purple, I wonder if purple will play to win at the end though. Like it backstab me if it, if it matters. Anyone who trusts Meagle is just making foolish decisions. He's, he's like, you can't trust him. All right. I have to make sure like people don't feel, feel bad and or pity Smeagol. Cause that's just bad news. If he's able to come back like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit Mission Impossible action. So let's get this, get a transport ship. Okay, so we're just gonna like try and shut him out of the water. Let's go see, he's probably hiding boats up here somewhere. I would assume. We're gonna go scout that out and see. We got our side of the island. Our wood supplies are good. Tax man's collecting, which is outstanding. Let's get the biology upgrade. Where are you hiding your Where are you hiding your fishing fleet, dude? He clearly has one. Let's like cut here. He might be taking angles of pursuit to get away from me. Yeah, Rams definitely need a bit of a nerf. They're pretty obnoxious. Like how low on the supply they are. Okay, looks good. I wonder if anybody's gonna have enough like time to slap down a wonder. Okay, wow, he really didn't have anything. So we're just gonna patrol his coasts and Corsair it a little bit. Um, I assume Red is fighting Smeagol. I assume. He's trying to get away with the fishing boat there. <laughs> he doesn't like the Abbasid, yeah. All right. So yeah, we let somebody else take him out. Okay, let's head down this way, keep trading. Let's make sure all these are rooted here. You're gonna go here. Oh yeah, they didn't They didn't get that, that rework there. Enemy destroyed Whisper's landmark. Okay, so Whisper's dying for sure. Hmm. Yeah, if Smeagol has an ally, we're in danger. I mean, who's still left? Yeah, we got we got a fair amount of people here. We're banking some good resources. Um, gold is still going. Got 81 on wood, so I, I can definitely play the Ramstein game pretty hard. Um, Delhi, yeah, I really, really just hope Delhi doesn't backstab me. I, that would be pretty, pretty damn treacherous. I've been like homies with Delhi for a long time. Let's go to Smeagol's island and, and hammer it down. Yeah, I've been. That, that would be really, really treacherous if if he came and you know tried to backstab me. That would be that would be some next level shit. It looks like he's building his bases up here. He's got some elephants. I mean, he could definitely do a little bit of damage. Okay, here's um here's the base of a fallen player, and uh, we don't have the transport ship space yet. So that's uh yeah. Let's keep looking here. That was Allied's base. So he must be right in the middle here. Nice. All right. So yeah, trade ships are going. Purple's getting a little bit of economy action going. We'll see, though. We'll see. If he betrays me, then, uh, you know, it, it would just mean in future games I couldn't trust him. We have Emperor Jaren here. He's got a pretty big dread fleet, so I'm not, not looking to mess with that. Just passing by. He's like pure Corsair. I, I don't think he's got anything on the land. Passing by. Just passing by. We'll see though. He might he might go for uh, go for war here. He might go for the war. He's got a big ass navy. I mean, I would have to delete a lot to be able to account for that. Oh shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, that army came out of nowhere, didn't it? Wow. And uh, let's do that. So we just deleted all that because we got to get an army out on the land. Yeah, Smeag I Wow, I didn't think Smeagol would be arriving here so quickly. All right, let's get you guys do this. Set up a little keep here. Probably not going to get off, but that's okay. 
and oh wow, we just got supply block. The timing of this is really unfortunate. Yeah, we lost the village. That's what it was. All right. Let's get our army up here, gather up the troops. It's okay. We might actually finish that keep in time, which is pretty hilarious, all things considered. And he's got a decently sized army. But yeah, we should be able to deal with it here in a second. All right, let's do this. Get our troops going. We can pull some bills here. Go down here, finish that. And now we can uh, we can start just getting ready to fight back here, basically. We have the Great Wall Gatehouse. All right, let's do that. Get our bombard, 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 bombard cannons, yes. How the hell you say that? Come on, boys. Get that key finished. Okay, we got horsemen galore coming. Keep the army moving out here. Unfortunately, our main island did just get run over. So we're kind of like condemned to fighting on the land now. All right. Should be able to overwhelm this force though, I think. I don't think he's got the forward infrastructure yet to, to really do much against us. All right. Yeah, wow, I, I can't believe he got there that quickly. That's, that's wild. I'm really glad we built all that additional infrastructure too. All right, so let's get here and here. You know who our nemesis is. Um, our main island just got absolutely torched down, so that's pretty much off the picture now. We have uh, the old the old sea pirates out there. Yeah, Ali got killed. He did. Are we fully upgraded? I actually don't think we are, believe it or not. I think we have lapsed on our upgrades for, uh, for a little while. So let's make sure to do that. Keep pushing them back here. Get some rams, and uh, we're gonna need to just set up a bunch of fishing here and hope hope that the pirate master doesn't come for us here. He might. He might. I'm not sure. All right, let's keep pushing back, Spiegel. All right, let's do this. We got 17 workers. We might actually have to do like a land-based economy at some point, which would suck. Uh, do we delete our traders? We probably do for now. Yeah, red is dead. Oh wow. Okay. So we have like two land-based armies, and then we have the Corsair Lords of the Seven Seas, uh, which is obviously myself included. Okay, let's go down here, right around the back. Just keep maxing out on spears. Take down that great bombard that costs like a billion gold. Nice, nice. Smeagol's trying to get infrastructure set up. He might be richer than me. I don't know. He might be. Yeah, he's trying to get his infrastructure going. Um, let's do nest of bees, nest of bees. Pull back, gather up the troops, and just prepare for mortal wombat, basically. Yeah, we need to get fishing boats and fishing boats to sustain our food. All right, so we'll see how this unfolds. I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, wasn't fully upgraded, which is pretty potato. It's all good, got a little bit lazy. Trade chips, we don't need them. Oh, wow, the Delhi player died too. My my minion is gone. So now it's me, Smeagol, and Jaren. <laughs> you have the entire half continent. Jaren, who are you gonna trust? Treacherous Smeagol or, Turin, or old Turin? There you go. All right. <laughs> you did. <laughs> He's saying I murdered Purple. <laughs> oh my god, Purple did not get murdered. His landmarks like, yeah. Look at him. His landmarks, his palace of the Sultan is literally sitting in the back of my base healthy. All right, so we need to get Scythe Barns. I think I might have forgotten that upgrade. Let's check. I do have a handful of relics, so. Should have gotten that like a hundred years ago. All right, so what do we got? Yeah, pretty good infrastructure. Rule the seven seas. Yeah, I think he disconnected. I think he did, unfortunately. Yeah, still have gold nodes though, which is great, you know. Certainly a bit of a, a privilege to have here at this point in the game. Our eco's down to 82. We're gonna just send some rams to go do a little exploratory mission. And, uh, yeah, you get you guys, and that's the bees. I love that we have a Corsair Lord who just, like, rules the seven seas. He's just like, nobody can mess with him at all. It's just like, he's like, yeah, I just, 
I, I just rolled the shit, rolled the stuff. After I tried so hard to survive and get back, oh, you got disconnected. Oh, I felt like we had a, we had a, we had a nice little friendship going, you and I, you know. Trying to bank and just play defensively, use my tithe barns. Smeagol has a good army for sure. I'm like super gold tight. All right, so that should be the upgrades here. We have this node. Um, man. Okay, so we need to do some scouting. Let's go see what we can like potentially trade with up here. Jaren rules the seas. The the trade. Jaren, are you bot? I'm, I would like to know if he's like what trade situation is going down down here. All right. Yes. Got it. Look at Smeagol trying to run with some workers here. Classics. All right. So let's chase, keep you guys up. Right on. Get you. Who is working that southern trade? We gotta, we gotta find out how that's actually going. Okay, he's raiding my coast, which is gonna really be super troll. Because that'll basically shut down my food economy, so we need to come down here. Alright, and then we need to go here. Keep hunting Smeagol's workers. I might have to switch to a land-based food economy, which would be unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright, so we're heading to that trade post. I'm just trying to see who's, who's working it. At South Trade. I have none. We have to take him down. Stop raiding my coasts. He has gold, I don't. Alright, so yeah. We need to team up like like five minutes ago. Because this raiding is... Um, he needs the coastline from everyone. Okay, it's fine. But then I just won't have food. Mego will win without my fishing. Yeah, I'm trying to reason with Jaren. We'll see if he if he sees the sees the light. I don't know if he will. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna rebuild when he leaves, you know. But it will set me back pretty hard because now I'm not banking food whatsoever. I have like four food income, so yeah, that's pretty rough. Um, let's hide you guys up here. So be it. So be it. All right. So he's only here. He's trading. So we will do this. We're not even fighting. Check stream. Correct. All right. So we got you. These guys are hiding. Um, maybe we can get some of this. Yeah, there's neutral docks here. Not you. Okay. So where are we at? We got those two. He's got... He's... Smeagol's gonna win. If uh, if Jaren doesn't see the light and start helping me out, Smeagol's gonna win. Because he's got the entire, um, the entire land trade going. I guarantee you he's on that right now. Uh, let's get this landmark. Did we get that one? I think we're missing a landmark. Let me see. Yeah, we have it. Okay. So we can check that. Let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, we see some gold being taken. Surprised face. You just took all my food and he wonders. The big the big plays from the Jaren. <laughs> oh no, now Smeagol is gonna just crush us. All my food infrastructure is gone. Oh. All right, where is he wondering is the question. Uh, in the middle of his base. Okay. That's pretty unfortunate that Jaren killed all my food eco, right? As he wonders. So now we're gonna be now we're gonna be in some trouble. Damage done, G. Man, he just screwed us, dude. All right. Well, let's see if I can get my food back. Come on, boys. All right. Let's do this. Get some more docks so I can try and reestablish my food economy. And uh, we're going to try and push down his wonder. Hopefully Jaren actually helps with this. If he does, we might have a chance. 
But he's been he's clearly been hoarding for a while. Alright, so this is a good spot. It's it's pretty close. Okay. And here we come. Let's move down here. Alright, here we go. So let's set up a keep here. So this will be like where we launch our invasion. And then we can set up all of our infrastructure there. Let's pull some more bills over here. Holy shit, look at that damage that keep did. That's insane. Alright, so let's get some bombards. Uh, Chinese bombards are awesome. And we're going to need to get some fishing boats back because I'm going to need food for sustained attacks here. Let's move you guys up. And you guys can... Uh, this. Let's make some fire lancers. Pull back, pull back. And Jaren's gonna have to try and land somewhere against Smeagol, and we'll see if he can make that work, but that's uh, certainly not gonna be easy. Once our bombards arrive, we're gonna be able to push this. Alright. Good job. We got the keep up. Let's get a cannon emplacement there. Let's do that. Got this down. Really sloppy there. Let that keep get a ton of damage. It's all good. All right, so we repaired that landmark. Um, taxman unfortunately got killed, so let's make some taxmen so we can get that gold income going again. The timing of me losing that food was rough because now I'm gonna I would have had like ten thousand more food. I don't know what the trawl was barking about. Hopefully, hopefully nothing serious. All right, so we're gonna just be grinding here pretty hard. Jaren has a good chance of helping. He could like land on the coast with like you know ten traps or whatever and do pretty well. Okay, so let's just have you guys lumberjack here in the meantime. Come on, bombards. You guys do this. Two, three, and four for ram spam. And we'll see what we can get done. All right, so we're going to get bombards out. Come on, here they go. Yeah, no, the great bombard in place mine keeps uh, something I, I haven't played against much. I forgot that it existed, but yeah. All right, let's move in. We're going to start losing some units, but it's it's got to happen. All right, so we're gonna like creep closer and closer here. Set up another keep. Do the slow crawl of doom. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm this is gonna be a hard wonder hold, I think, for him. It depends on how well Jaren uh, can contribute. I don't know why the troll was getting mad. Hear it out there, just screeching for no reason. Okay, let's do this. Keep it up. Grab everything. Head this way. I mean, guys, we're almost in trebuchet range of this thing. Is this just a haggard wonder spot or what? I don't know. I think I might be able to get it. Just about. Yeah, just knock down these walls and then we can treb it. Alright. You guys get back on wood. Cut and cut. Get that. I think we can reach it from right here with trebs. Okay, he's trying to raid with some horses. Have been. Alright. Cool. That didn't do much, so let's knock down these walls. Get you guys across here and here. And then we just need to get the Trebuchet Legion there. I don't know what that Chihuahua's up pissed about, but something's bothering it. Okay, so let's get some towers here to make sure it's harder to push us back. And um, what do I want to delete? Yeah, the food economy is going good. Getting pretty close to it. We're not like encountering very stiff resistance, I'm not going to lie. Maybe someone's banging on our door. Alright, so let's delete you guys. Can progressively replace them, but for now it's going to give us uh, access to more units. All right, guys. You guys cutting off the reinforcements. We got ten minutes left. Let's do this. Yeah, the positioning here is good. It's definitely not bad. He's just bleeding units into us. They're not really getting good angles or anything. All right, so let's move you guys through. You guys can keep cutting off reinforcements. Let's get some placements. Outstanding. And here he comes with an army. Okay. Oh, why am I making archers as well? Should be horsemen. Alright, guys. Keep cruising. Keep cruising. He's moving in with the Valquins. Interesting. Alright, so we're getting danger close to it. It's got a weird spot, that relic. There, that, that shit. Yeah, let's move you guys down there. Keep moving you guys up. 
Set up towers. Provision and whatnot. A lot of his armies hemorrhaging here. Can we actually hit it? Yeah, we can. Nice. All right, so we're on the Wonder with three cannons. I mean, that doesn't get too much better than that. Got a great bombard heading this way and get a couple of you guys to take that down. Outstanding. He's trying to repair it, but I think we're going to get it. Yeah, it's pretty close. We got two cannons on it. Yeah, one more shot should finish it. Come on, boys. Come on. Nice. Okay, Wonder destroyed. Uh, let's finish him now. And uh, we can see how this goes. We can't let Smeagol live. Like, we have to we have to finish him off. If Smeagol's allowed to live, then the worlds will fall. Okay, so we'll do this. Looks like there is some sort of a fancy landmark right there. No problem, do your thing. It's a good thing Smeagol didn't put up too much of a fight there, or else I would have been in trouble. Okay, so let's get you guys, you guys, keep torching around, gotta make you guys do your thing, let's get rams here, let's keep killing his infrastructure, he's probably trading, so let's go down here with some bills and like fortify this if we can, that'd be pretty big, take you guys down, go shut down any trade, Jaren is, Jaren your eco is fine by the way, I see 100 trade ships. <laughs> he's he's trying to say he's rebuilding his eco. I'm like, dude, come on, man. I see your 500 trade ships over there. He is doing just just okay. All right. So we have the bills. Did the bills make it down here? All right. So we're gonna set that up. Hey, thank you for the donation, T-Rex. Greatly appreciate it. Oh shit, okay. He's, Smeagol's gonna come back like a wrecking ball here, dudes. Alright, so let's push this horse back. Get these guys and you horsemen to go hunt down these great bombards if you can. We've successfully denied trade, and now we need to find a way to get trade of our own if we, if we possibly can. Uh, so where would that go? Where would that even be? Probably like over here is fine. Yeah. Alright, so Ram should be on the way soon. Uh, we could probably just start spamming Fire Lancers, to be honest. Alright, so let's go here, 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 and get up into his eco a little bit. We're still butchering all of his trade, keeping that shit offline. It's gonna be pretty essential. Smeagol saying GG, I don't know why. What? He was fine. Why did Smeagol leave? Of all, like, why did he leave? He was in good shape. I guess I guess he didn't feel like he had it in him. Okay then. Uh, all right, let's get you going. Now Jaren's gonna wander on an island, and I'm just gonna sit here <laughs> looking kind of dumb. Uh, all right. So let's see what we can do here. Cut the trebuchets. Don't need those. We probably don't need rams either. So now it's just us. Um, sacred sites, yeah, this one's pretty pretty well into my lands here. He's definitely going to start purging the shores, Lorder on style. Um, there's no way I'm getting a wonder anytime soon. 50 gold to pop, not bad. It could be better. Um, let's take the rams, do this. Let's go scout Spiegel's base for relics and stuff. The Dread Navy. Wonders don't fit on the island you tried? Oh, that sucks. That sucks, dude. I was gonna say, that would be pretty prime time if they did. Alright, so the trade post is ours for now. We have to we have to make sure Jaren doesn't land on the island and just start cackling at us. Because he's, he's probably richer than me now. With all that, like, sweet island trade he's had, he's probably really, really quite wealthy. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's keep looking here. Taking looks around the whole island. Okay, you guys just go trade. 
I don't know how effective that trade route's gonna be or where which direction they're gonna go, but it looks like it's coastal. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh wow. I thought he was like weak and shit, but he's he's no, he's he's Jaren was playing possum this whole time. If this is uh, if he's got more than this. Oh wow, that's serious. Okay, so let's uh, take you guys. Move over here. We managed to kill all that arty, which is great. So we just lost all that artillery. And we need to get our armies up, up and over there. And you just keep scouting if you can. Okay, let's do that. And hopefully the armies can arrive soon enough. We'll have to see. All right, so we need some rams in the main base uh, to knock down some of these walls here to allow the trade to be a little bit more direct. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, he's solidifying on the mainland, which isn't good. It's not good at all. Let's grab you guys, head over here. Set up the siege workshops in case we need to push. Yeah, he's got the full naval trade going, so he's got to be pretty erect right now, I would wager. Naval trade is insane how much value it gives you. Okay, can you go collect taxes somewhere, buddy? Alright, so take down Vils. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got rams and shit. No, attack, attack. It's me. He, was, he was playing all playing all weak and shit. Yeah, right, dude. He's a dark lord over here. His, his tyranny knows no bounds. Not sure where those rams are going, but... Let's go up here and just chase with some of these guys. Alright. Cool. So that's going. We should have the rams coming in in a moment. So they need to they need to knock this down. Yeah. All right, we're getting some eco damage, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean it's it's cute and all, but he's destroying Smeagol's old landmarks. You know, he's getting them down. Let's go down there, see what's cracking. Uh, it looks like there was somebody down here earlier. Okay. Yeah, alright, cool. So, yeah, there's damage going. Or as the French would say, damage. Okay, let's get some reinforcements popping out. Let's get basic archer upgrades. Range of hand cannoneers, looking good. And all those rams are paying the troll toll. Alright, let's go down here. Take that. Now we need to get these siege workshops going. Alright, Spearman. Let's go. Come on. Still getting it in there. Yeah, he's bleeding units, but... Nice little foothold he's got, for sure. Alright, so you guys go do rams. You guys, in the meantime... We're gonna go set up towers all over the place to see what this looks like. Alright. He's building camel riders, which are pretty bad against what I have, so that's good. They're obviously like an anti-cab unit, so... Okay, so now we keep exploring down here to make sure the trade stays functional. Keep grinding these units. Could get attacked in the main base, but I'm pretty tanky in there, to be honest, so I think we're okay. Alright. So let's make some bombards and some rams. Keep doing this. And towers, 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 and towers. So we can kind of see what's going on in the neighborhood. Can that river really go all the way down? No, no, no. Okay, it looks like it loops around. It's like a like an interesting one. Looks like this is a fallen player back here. So we have the ruins of an old empire. Alright. Uh, let's get some horsemen going over there. Get some rams and fire lancers. You guys get some towers set up here. To be safe. And it looks like... Oh, this is Jaren's uh, house of wisdom here. Holy shit. Okay, so if he actually loses his mainland um, TC, he's just actually dead. It's kind of interesting. Something to think about. Alright, so we got good artillery coming. You guys are coming here. Let's clear these out. In the meantime, make some room. Get the rams going, ready to party. And we'll make some nest of bees too, if need be. Yeah, that's, that's some good information to have. Alright, and uh, you can go ahead and attack that. Start working that down. 
Bombards can make their way to the keep. We take our army here. And get the old nest of bees going. Alright, let's do battle. Do this. Looks like a little coastal embargo. It's cute. Definitely a good idea. If he trolls my food, that, at this point, it's at, that would be a really good play. So we might want to come over here and just make some uh, make some granaries and stuff. Uh-huh. One, two, and three. Alright, so pop you guys in position. And uh, looks like we do have a little bit of this. Have you guys lumberjack some wood in the meantime? Yeah, he's raiding our coast, which is smart. Surprise didn't happen before. But now we're going to get the Chinese Dreadfleet and hopefully be able to put some hurt on him. In the meantime, we keep saving up. And are the traders taking effective trade routes, is the question? No, not yet, because of this. So we need to go take that down. He's pulling his fleet around, uh, which is good. Hopefully the Chinese Navy here will be able to hold. We might be able to hold him here. I don't know. Yeah, we're kind of like running out of steam a little bit on land too. So I need to get some more spears going over there. All right. You guys keep moving. Join the party. You guys can just lumberjack here. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this the holy grail right here? Sure as hell looks like it. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Guys, we just found the holy grail. And the dread Chinese navy is growing in power too. Dear gods, that is a lot of resources. All right, let's get spears going up that way. And more rams, please. We got 22 workers. They set up those granaries here. Excellent. It's, it's the Smeagol in chat. Yeah, it's the Smeagol hanging out after his game. After sweating mightily. Okay, let's get some hand cannoneers going over there. Looking good. And wow, okay, so this is going to be... This is going to be some amount of gold, that's for sure. He's still fighting us at land. Which is fine. It looks like he's still making camel riders, actually. And what are these? These are uh, war junks? We don't want war junks. We want only chads. Only chads? Sounds like some sort of a subscription service or something. Alright, and get you and you. Go here. Keep hustling, boys. Keep hustling. Pretty sure I'm fully upgraded now, by the way. Yep, no. Missing one. Upgrade here. Alright. Okay. Looks like his navy's here. I know the Chinese navy is very OP, so maybe we maybe we can actually win at sea. Kind of keep him here and then push him off land. Okay, let's do that. Set up towers here. We do see... Ooh, that's actually something interesting to think about. So let's set you up like so. The Dread Chinese Navy is making progress. Alright, so let's keep the rams going. Need more spearmen. Alright, Palace Guard and company, you guys keep doing your thing. Let's go hit those down. And then you, buddy, can go here and grab this. Delete these extra workers we got. All right, let's push towards his main uh, island here. Yeah, let's do that with these guys. We could delete a bunch of fishing boats for supply, which I think is a good idea. And we can just you know, take advantage of the surplus we have. All right, boys, let's go. Come on, palace guard. Nest of bees. Get those special emplacements. And it uh, looks like some small gold nodes over there. So, all right. So let's grab you guys, do this. And then they can go over to that. Should be a bit of a better trade route. He's still maintaining his navy here. But we're pushing it. We're putting the pressure on from a couple different points. Oh, I don't know why I keep building more junks. Yeah, Chinese navy OP, dude. Okay, let's get this and this. How we're looking here. Alright. Cool. And we almost got him off land. We have a big old navy now. Let's creep out this way. 
We have this position too, if we want to potentially consider a wonder at some point. But that was straight up Shangri-La. That like bottom area, dude, that was like the, the gift of the gods. Yeah, now he's panic panic rushing a navy out, which is smart. Okay, uh, we're just too tight on gold to really like push the, the tempo there. So it is what it is. He's probably going to diminish, um, be diminished here on land a little bit. Man, the amount of relics Meagle had there is pretty nuts. Alright, so let's take down the docks. So he can't make more stuff. We just keep moving up. We could just go for a TC snipe right now. Looks like he's sending Navy here. Yeah, the Tide Barns is um, pretty good. Oh, he's actually going pretty hard. But I mean, he's going to die if he doesn't doesn't, um, if he loses his TC, right? He should just be dead. Yeah, should be toast. Because his other landmark's down here. I'm not going to say GG yet. I don't know if he's got some other trick. I, I don't like early GG, so. Um, GG. Oh, boy. All right, we got it. We got it. China OP. We finally got an FFA win. It's been so long. Once, once, once I had the land, and you know he was stuck at sea. That's really unlucky that he um, he had his house of wisdom all the way down here. That means he's basically never going to get it back. <laughs> Jaren says, "Okay, for some reason my chat was turned on to voice voice team chat. Oh, well played. Hey, we got a W. It finally happened. The rare elimination victory. Well, that that map was fun. I." I know it's pretty rough for some civs. Like Abbasid really suck are gonna suck on that map because you can't like your first landmark is just yeah. Man, all right. Landmark FFA win rare, I know, I know. We could have gone for a sacred, but he he had a better navy. Well he had a good navy, it was kinda hard, but yeah, once this he invested a lot into land, which is not a good idea for sure. Like trying to reclaim your your landmark here is really important, but um that meant we were able to get the momentum at sea. All right, let's get another game going. Anybody's welcome to join. Let's get it, baby. I thought I was straight up dead. When Jaren killed my uh, my food, I had no other food. So I thought Smeagol would put up more of a fight, but it seems like maybe Jaren put a lot of pressure on him in the north. I'm not, I, I don't know. I thought we were dead when he killed my food. Because I, I, usually with Smeagol, it's like a, a miserable grind trying to get to his wonder, right? So uh, that that case, it was there was very little resistance. Maybe he was he was busy or the angling was weird. Yeah, no, Jarn, I think it is a good idea. Because you have to put it on the mainland, but it's hard to protect it, you know? It's a tough situation for our Abbasid champ, yeah, absolutely. Alright, so let's do uh let's do a uh Let's like what about a Hill and Dale? That'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Hideout. Confluence is always an interesting one. We just did one with water. Nomad Mega Random. Do we want to do a Nomad map? I'm down for a Nomad. Alright, so let's find Mega Random. And game mode is going to be... Nomad. Uh, Alright, so let me get the size. I don't know why it says that. We'll do large so it won't take too long. Gigantic games can just go forever. Alright, anybody's welcome to join. We're doing a Nomad uh, Mega Random. Holy shit, look at that. God damn, that was fast. There's a, a delay on stream, too. Uh, all right. <laughs> damn. All right. So we'll play random Civ again. I think that's fun. Let's just go random and see what happens. Yeah, it was it was something. Hill and Dale. Go Sultan it. Give them the elephants. We already have a, a Sultan player in this game. I'm, I, I Random is fun. Actually, you know what? I really want to play Mongols. Yeah, I'm going to channel my... my Channel my inner Smeagol here. Let's do it, dude. You got pushed off the mainland, yeah. Yeah, it's tough if you get pushed off the mainland. Like, I, Allied, Allied got sandwiched by me pretty hard. He was like, I think somebody else was killing him too. Or maybe he just didn't build military. He got greedy. Hey, Marv, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get another rep in here, boys. See what we can do. Quill called me uh, peeling earlier. <laughs> Quill, is, Quill is Quill in this game? Oh, Quill's Conqueror 3. He's very good. 
I'm like, I think if I'm playing at my absolute best, I can be like a conqueror one player, maybe like, yeah, like absolute best. But, um, I mean, that's what I've gotten previous seasons. And Quill is like, I think he's conk three. He's very good. So yeah, we're going to have some trouble here. I mean, he, he's going to have to be teamed up on probably. Yeah. It's time, dude. It filled fast. Yeah, well, we if if they, we get another fast one, we might be able to do a uh, another one like you casted one. Cool, was top 100 last season. Yeah, I know. He's he's probably going to crush. Also beat a pro today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's extremely good. He's bad, way better than I am. We'll put up a fight, though. You know, we'll be the rat in the night. That's that's the plan. He who uh, nibbles from the shadows. So we got Jordan on French, Dead Air on the Malians, um, Skeleton Mage on Ottomans, Roost J. Cole, Venthus on the Abbasid, Quill on Ottomans, and Masso on HRE. Yes, good. Cool got uh, a Smurf to conquer just today. That's very cool. Yeah, man, uh, I, I hope that like future RTS games get rid of Smurf accounts. They're such bullshit, like in general. It's like, yeah. I, I really dislike smurfing in RTS. I really, really dislike it. Understandably, people at the high time have like longer, maybe have longer queues and whatnot, but um. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter where we start because we're Mongols. We can just move. So we're going to just set up shop here and just like get this going. Wow, that's a that's a cool little spot here, that middle node. All right, so we got that being built. We see Quill running nearby. So Quill's going to be over here. So we want to move like away from him probably. We see another villager there. Um, TC being set up here by what appears to be a Roost player. Not sure. <laughs> throw a torch at my my tc dear god dear god in heaven we're gonna go set up like right next to that water and that trade post and the gold over there so that's gonna go down all right so let's go here go explore a little bit it's kind of nice that we have like a like an extra scouting piece right we we start with the gear so we can go see what's up somebody somebody might be dead already we're not sure it seems like somebody's like acting as if they're paying the troll toll here uh, all right, so it's not true fish down there it could be but like this isn't a bad spot to set up initially What is this here? Dock and a basset dock, huh? Interesting. Yeah, we're definitely gonna move the TC over there because I want that giant gold node and We can just like put this right here for now and that can be our food gathering And we'll go that's pretty funny. You can claim the sheep. Yeah, shoreline fishing is a really good source of food, though. So we're we're happily going to take that. Hmm. Lots of water. Yeah. Quill Quill says sad face. Yeah. There's water here too. So we we wanna we wanna be like right in the mix of things. Dude, we're we're scouting with the uh, the house. We are. Put some respect on it. All right. Let's go over here. Let's do this. And get you guys start gathering in the meantime. And cool. I think, yeah, setting up next to the gold here is going to be smart. There's also a relic right next to us and a trade post. We can deny that. And again, we can flee. We're the Mongols. So if we get stormed, we can hopefully get away to some, some corner and thrive, you know? All right, get that sweet fishing. Looks like there's an Abbasid dock right here. We're moving closer to the dreaded gold. Well, this water is just ponds. It's not like true hardcore, you know water action from what I can tell. Although it looks like there's a little bit of a river just north of me as well. Turn, where are you, where are you going, says Ventus. To the gold node, of course. All right, let's do that. Get the villagers going. Uh, we'll have a con appearing shortly. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Um, oh, actually some deep sea fish up here, nice. Cool. So let's get, uh, I think goal, focusing on the gold initially is less important. We need to get a dock up and start getting some boats out there. Yeah, setting up in the middle of the map's risky, but like look at the resources I have around me. If I can just like get all those and not get killed, then it's pretty pr prime time, like straight up. It's going to be pretty good. Um, if anyone finds a spare villager, <laughs> no, you don't. I don't know what he's saying. It's pretty funny. All right, so let's go set this dock up here. Some deep sea fish right there. Deep water fish, not deep sea. We got one on food at the moment. Hopefully that will get there. Three on wood. So it begins. 
Yeah, I think Mongols are a very good FFA civ, especially after the recent changes to the towers. Like, your corner Mongol wonders are horrific. If I had to, like, make an assessment, which is, I, you know, I play this game maybe twice a week. I don't really play too many 1v1s because my hand sucks and I have to, like, ration my time in a day, unfortunately, um, with games I play. Um, but I would say French seem like they're probably just the safest, easiest civ to play. Powerful units, powerful economy, infinite resources with guild hall is pretty crazy. You know, it just seems very, very good. All right, let's go get those trees. And uh, outstanding. We're still good in the food department. We can now get some fishing boats. This is a nice little pond here too. Plus it's being protected by our TC, so. Imagine if Mongol docks could turn into ships and pack up. That would be so funny if the docks could flee. That would be hilarious. All right, so six here. We're keeping it going. And all's calm. We're still alive, you know? Nobody's dead yet. Nobody is dead yet. Hmm. Yeah, we see we see uh, Ventus chilling here. The new con rises. All right, perfect. So now we can go scouting and go see who's behind us, basically. We might, we'll probably end up packing up our base and leaving at some point. This area is like very precarious. So yeah, I think, I think that might happen. Now let's get you on gold. Okay, not that we care for sheep too much, but might as well grab them. I think there is a roost player, so denying bounty could be good. And perfect. All right, so we see an Uvu over there, so we're going to go get that set up. We didn't have one immediately next to us, but um, we need to go over there and jam. Yeah, English is definitely, the I think, a, the best beginner civ, hands down. Like, I, I can't tell you how many games with English. When I was, like, pushing for Conqueror, when I was, like, playing a lot of 1v1s, um, how many games I won that I felt my opponent was better than me and were playing better, but like I just had the English stuff, you know? There was a lot of games like that. Um, that was like, I feel like I didn't deserve to win that, but it just kind of happened. Oh, holy shit, that is a lot of Holy Roman Sheep down there. All right, so we got Masso in the corner. I don't know how close the Abbasid player is to us. We're gonna go check that out. Uh, we're gonna save up for the Uvu, probably get that going right now. Get you on stone there. The Uvu should be good to go. We'll set it a little bit deeper set. Outstanding. Now we keep working on these trees. Abbasid are a really cool civ. They're they're hard to play. They're I think Abbasid are hard to play, but they are, they can be very good. Like they're gulams, I think is what they're called. Camels are awesome. They have like crazy good eco. There's a lot of things that they do that is very very strong. It's never been a sieve that like has clicked with my playstyle super well, but overall, it's it doesn't seem bad. Um, all right, so we got oh hello, oh god, we have cool down here. That's like the worst neighbor to possibly have. Um, we should probably start scouting somewhere up to move up north. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be. I mean, look, I don't want to just get absolutely slapped by this conk three player here. So, um, yeah, so we might need to move. He might go out to the edges to kill first. But again, we can always flee and pack up if need be. We can flee, flee, yes, yes. Take the scape and approach. All right, so we need to do that. Let's grab you guys, do this. And let's do um, let's do a silver tree and try and get some trade going. Let's go see where we can settle. Because we already have the water here, so we could like move somewhere safer. You know, I think we are totally fine for that. All right. Outstanding, you guys can turn in here. Let's do this, get on the trees. Let's go find a new home. The hardest save to play? I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust my expertise on that. Um, okay. So we got Silver Tree on the way. Um, nice water up here, but it looks like there's somebody here. It's gonna be Quill. Yeah, so he's he's got his little, but his main base is to the south of us. Could have sworn I saw his villagers going a different direction. This is not a bad spot right up here though. I definitely like it. Yeah, nice gold nodes here. I think somebody was already building there as an Aachen. Being built pretty far away. I guess we'll just hold our position for now and hope we don't die. <laughs> I guess I'll die. Um, is this dock being used? Yeah, it is. It looks like it might be. So we'll, we could slap a tower down right there. A little bit of defense. Let's go see what the top looks like. Do Vu. We can get the speed upgrade for our boys. Uh-huh. You get some Kashyyyk action. Okay, people are reaching feudal age. They're getting ready to party. Boats, boats for the boat god, boats for the boat throne. Um, we are going to need another wood source. Looks like we have some tree patches over here, but they're pretty close to the enemies. Let's go over here and see if we can 
find anything a little bit better. This spot looks nice up here, actually. A nice natural choke point to get to you. And um, yeah, let's go see what other neighbors. It's a really fun element of the Mongols that I can just like kind of peruse the lands like this and look for a spot. It's really cool. Okay. <laughs> hey, Matthew, thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that, my friend. All right, let's get a tower there. Go see what's going on. I want to get out of this like area here. This is very, very dangerous turf. All right. Take you guys. In the meantime, we can just go after these bushes. The north looks pretty good, honestly. It's a little bit resource light, but overall, I think it um, I think it has some has some cool options. Okay, so we, do we have the speed yet um, on the goodness? All right, let's move up here. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we're doing a little bit of long distance action there for now. So the con, okay. Oh, ooh, boy. Damn boy, that looks good. Sweet pig. All right, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Quill is also fishing heavily. Yes, he is. All right. Yes, he is indeed. So we need to get a lot of wood so I can build a second TC probably. Um, so we are going to also move you out here and do this. Oh, hello. Oh, did I just pack up my town center? Did not mean to do that. Gotta love it. And um, yeah, that's going to for sure be one of our new uh, our new layers, which we hang out in. Okay, we'll do this, keeps exploring here. Hey, thank you, Alex, for the donation. Greatly appreciate it, my friend. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, so let's get the broad axe and the wheelbarrow. Um, we could start getting some traders, but I don't think we need to quite yet. Gold's a little bit tight up there, admittedly. Whereas in the middle here, we have a pretty good little gold outcome. So let's... Oh man, it's going to slow our eco down pretty hard if we move right now. So I think we save up for a second TC so we don't lose like the eco time. And then we go from there. All right, let's get you guys to do this. Nobody's reaching Castle Age quite yet. Wow, okay, hold on. Yeah, because where we are now is just the pits of hell, basically. Um, we have our post. We have the HRE checking us out. They're like, hey, what's going on, man? No biggie. Let's make some horsemen, just like one. To kind of keep these these trolls around us honest. Cool. So upgrades are on the way. We have the broad axe. We see trade going down for J. Cole. And let's get you guys do this and go up here. We can go ahead and um, set up a little uvu here. Actually, we could build our castle age landmark there. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could build the uh, the gathering landmark. And pull all those bills up there. We're gonna make the Great Exodus. I don't know if it's gonna work out. Could set us behind a little bit, but I think it's fun a fun time to try. So we're gonna get you guys here and just you can just work on the trees for now. All right. So Castle Age is on the horizon for sure. Um, we're yeah we're sandwiched between red and teal and like four players. Like I I have some faith in my abilities, but that is too much. That is far too much to be sandwiched. Okay, Feudal Age. Wow, somebody just got Feudal Age. All right, let's... Oh, look, we have the dreaded body block. All right, let's take this guy out. That's a cool scout. Your sheep belong to me. Yes, yes, good, Anakin, good. Hell yeah, the two MLG sheep. Okay. Oh, are we trapped now? We could meet the same fate as our, our foes here. All right, let's go. We're going to set this up here. We'll probably leave these guys here for now. Okay. Let's get you. Head up to the corner here. And now we now we just kind of flee the scene. We'll leave some bills down here to just, you know, take all the gold. And obviously we'll have our fishing, but I think this is the right idea, to be honest. I think this feels good. Alright, so we can build this, because we're going to have another Ovu here. Alright, let's keep it going. Let's go up there. Do this. Go up here. Alright, so we're making a partial exodus. But firstly, we're going to take as much gold as we possibly can. And hope for the best. 
Shot yeah, we, we're, we're preemptively fleeing before bad shit happens. You know, that's, I think, safe. All right, team. So they're going to get these up. We can make Kashyyyks if we need to. When the Suvu gets depleted here, um, we will have some options. So let's go here. And we can set up some towers uh, like here and here to secure those nodes. And this, this top area is like is very good it's very very good and we have that just fully actionable readout going here too all right we need to get a prayer tent grab whatever relics we can out of the middle and then head north hre flooding is going to be scary too yeah how does how does he know i'm i'm moving see see oh yeah he sees me here okay he sees me all right so quill's taking those resources which is fine Okay, cool. Keep this up. Yeah, his workers doing their things there, but we have the step readout getting us a lot of gold. Let's get the fishing upgrades. And now we have silver tree here. Can pop that right there. Get the stable right here also. And the matter is is doing its thing. Uh, he's really following us pretty hard. You haven't produced Vils in a while. Oh shit, okay. He's we're like right next to his TC here. Alright, let's get some Kashyyyks out. And uh, finally get that TC set up. So we didn't have villager production for a long time there. We'll have to see how that pays off. Alright, let's go up here. Uh, did I kill somebody's trade without knowing? I don't know if I did. I feel like I didn't, but that's okay. Alright, so we need to get like multi-TC. And just spam out a bunch of Kashyyyks for a little bit of map control here. Let's get this. And, oh, he, for some reason, didn't drop that relic off. So that's really unfortunate. That's going to lose us this one. Okay. Do this. We have the horseman here. I think I saw him lurking behind my base somewhere here. So we're going we're gonna to go check that out. I think I saw him lurking. Not sure. Uh, we don't need horticulture, but blacksmithing upgrade could be nice. Imperial Age is still a ways off. We're going to go like check all the woods here, make sure we're nice and safe and secret. And Homie's going to go try and get another relic. So we'll grab this and bring it back. And then we can take those up to the north. He's got his little rat in my lands. Make more Kashyyyks here. And outstanding. So we can do this and do this. Being raided here would appear. All right, so we need to save up for another, uh, yeah, another, another uh, TC. That time we spent is going to set us back pretty good. All right, buddy, you bring this back. Let's do that. Saving up my stone. Probably should get some improved upgrades, but it's all good. Uh, could get the bounty bonus. Yeah, we could do the improved bounty. I like that. I think that's a fun idea. All right. So the Mongol Legion gathers. Look at this shit. You see that guy blocking me there? He's like, am I actually able to get past him? We're going to well low low that guy, dude. Give me that scout, man. Oh my god, the sheep are... Are the sheep trapping us? Are we sheep trapped? Oh my god, the sheep is trapping us. This is real. I was wondering what the hell was keeping us trapped there. Alright, almost enough for a another TC here. We're not going to rush trade. I don't want to make myself the arch enemy quite yet. I think we're okay. Let's take these battle sheep back home. I think like raiding this base wouldn't be a bad idea. Since he's so far away, I doubt he's got infrastructure. And we do have the improved bounty coming. Eh. Let's wait till we get the bounty going. This is like the jankiest shit ever, dude. The fact that this guy can't get by is so troll. Alright, so second TC is on the way. Upgrades are here. Gonna have those. Turn converted my sheep. I did. I did. I think I did. Yeah, the sheep conversion was the big, the big brain tactic here. Get a couple spring towers here to make sure we don't lose that. Okay, the Khan is there hanging out. 
Yeah, we got these vills nearby. We got two relics, which ain't bad. Well, let's go see what's going on here. This is this is our territory, you know. So we gotta we gotta push up and see what uh, what defenses there are. We have to be familiar with the lay of the land, right? Okay, so clearly there's some walls there. Clearly there's a little bit of funny business. And then you can go ahead and build some archer ranges. Let's go see what walls we got here. Oh, it's just these. Okay, so we should be able to break through that pretty quickly. Alright, so we're going to push this back and get some bounty while we're at it. He's obviously a very strong player, so if we just let him do whatever he wants, he's going to win. Okay, let's set up a tower here. Get you going. See what villagers we can find, and it looks like he's already fled the scene. Alright. You guys come down here and set up these. We got spring towers. He's trying to troll us. It's okay. We should be able to get in those towers and get that sweet raiding bonus. Yeah, we can't let him just have these have these goodies here. All right, outstanding. So that's been controlled, and then we do not have enough. Requires uvu must be built within. Oh, did our uvu die here? Oh, we never built one. That's right. All right, so let's uh, get this going. Go down here, get these docks. And good. So that area has been forced. He's probably going to respond. It's fine, though. No problem. Spare that, and then we can just get back to mining gold. We could raid Masso, but I just wanted to get Teal out of our lands, really. But I do need to get aggressive and take a player out. It needs to happen at some point here. Mm hmm. So just to make sure we have safe food economy, I'm going to preemptively set these up. Great. Good job, team. We got eight idle fishing boats for some godforsaken reason. Let's get you up here. Take those relics somewhere safe. The dreaded Kashyyyks have done it. And um, let's go say hello to the Holy Romans. I don't know what their empire looks like, but they are for sure around. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, we can't let Quill just, like, have all of our resources there. So we lost the TC. Um, HRE is building walls. Panic walls. We're going to go, like, raid down here. I'm not too worried about the HRE here. Again, words I could live to regret. And, uh, yeah, these guys, for some reason, decided not to build these pastures. Okay, let's do this. Get another TC here. Quill obviously has a hard on for trying to take us down. So it's all good. Like somebody's trying to trade here. He's making spears and spears. He has some spears for the spear god. He's building a keep. He saw me coming, obviously. The dreaded Mongol invaders. And our relic shop is coming back. Alright, let's do the speed. Get a full surround here, and then attack. And then get into his eco there. Ooh, ooh, that's bad. That's not good for him, dudes. That's really not good. Wow, he just got plowed. Holy shit. Just one raid like that. And that's, that's uh, that'll get it done. Is he just dead? Is Quill just toast? What the hell? Alright. Alright, so let's get this going. We're going to do short distance trade for now. And, um, yeah, we just kind of keep raiding here. What? How did he just die to that? Huh. Alright, so that's looking pretty brutal. And now he's coming back. Oh, it looks like he was busy fighting someone, but I mean, he just got absolutely punished here. That was pretty, pretty, pretty brutal beat, bully beatdown. Uh huh. Make some towers. We're just gonna farm him for resources. We already did some pretty devastating damage. He's gonna be back to the Stone Age for a while. Surround attack. Uh, save up for imp upgrades now. 
Yep, retreat. Go raiding somewhere else. Just put a scratch. I don't know about that. It's definitely more than a scratch. He must have had his micro focused elsewhere. It is from from the looks of things is what it kind of looks like. All right. Get back. Torch down houses. Look for bounty. And uh, we need to get our separate dot out of there soon. Although it still is getting us a bit of gold, so that's nice. All right. How are we looking? Looks like he was getting swarmed by a couple people, for sure. I mean, he just took some brutal damage. Like, really brutal. Do a little scooting and shooting on his house. Yep, got the bonus. I believe we have three spring towers here, so if he wants to fight there, it's all good. And now we can build the Kaganate Palace, which is... Eh, the White Stupa is pretty... The White Stupa guarantees we get the stone for the long run, right? So we're going to build the White Stupa right here. So a little bit of raiding, a little tickling of the pickle. The dreaded four gold trade. Okay, so those are being built. And um, we need to get some more upgrades. I don't know Mongols too well, but they certainly seem very fun. In FFA, I, I haven't really dabbled with them in 1v1. Could go raiding HRE, but, you know, again, I think we're all right. So let's do this. Yeah, just get a couple more traders, and then we'll move that to be a little bit more optimally placed. Let's go steal that sacred side if we can. And so far, the move is seems like it's been a good call. All right, back to wood you go. No, oh, shit. Okay, let's just keep you here, and you can go here. And one, two... Three, four, five, and six. Let's go do a little bit of raiding into the HRE. See what they're made of here. So we need to get crossbows and kashiks. We need to get the uh, elite upgrade for the improved kashiks. I think that would be really cool. Alright. They can produce here. Oh, our skit looks like our guy got karate chopped here. And we do have the M network, we do have it, um, but my trade network isn't like set up how I want it to be yet, so once it is, we'll uh, we'll optimize it. Let's just go see what's going on in HRE lands. Go ahead and do a little bit of raiding. Uh, and now we can get the improved Kashyyyks. Increases their, yeah, and attack speed by 20%. That's the improved one, it costs like 500, but... I don't like seeing that building there, it's kind of annoying. Alright, let's do a little raiding. Raiding for the Raiding God. And um, we do have green chilling up in our neighborhood. Spare the rat. He's making spears. We need to kill them as they come out. I'm just here for the sweet bounties. How are we looking in the middle? Man, we're still not through that yet. Um, how much is left there? 66 gold? He seems like he's pretty uh, pretty injured at the moment. Where is that Mongol tower upgrade, by the way, for the fancy Mongol towers? I'm uh yeah, I'm not sure where that one is. Rating equals money. All right. He asked why I'm raiding him, and I just I just explained it. Oh, how I feel like we have to get Mangudai. Mango Dyer is so rad. Uh, how much are these? 375? Jeez. Okay, let's just keep going after houses. Okay, Cool's had enough of this shit. He's coming back for blood. So hopefully he just is occupied on his side of the map. Dude, look how fast that thing is. Oh my god. Okay, so we're getting quite a bit of resources here. It's so speedy. <laughs> it is, dude. It is. It's just outrunning all of his shit. Look how fast that thing is, dude. Oh my god, that's really funny. Alright, so let's get some more uh, stables here. Building should run faster than Pokey Boys, I know. It's really hilarious, actually. Okay, so we got some defenders there. We have a nice little choke point. It would take some considerable effort to uproot us. Tower upgrades in the Avu, thanks. Yeah, I want to get that one. It seems like it's good. 
All right, so now I think it's time to optimize our trade uh, to the best of our abilities. Let's grab Silver Tree, um, and we can head over up here. That looks fine. You guys go jump on the gold. Successfully raided the HRE down. He found our little border outpost. Let's go see if he's doing anything up here. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, let's go keep farming for money. Because it's, it's money, money, money. And we can get some more uh, cannon towers on the periphery here. We got sheep coming in, so good food economy there. Okay. So yeah, we've got our little our little slice of heaven uh, more or less secured here. These guys will trade with that as soon as they can. We need to get the Kashyyyk's fully elite, and uh, also we need to get the biology. We can get improved biology too. That would be pretty rad. Okay, and now we can do that. Come on, come on, finish. It's not an amazing trade route. We're gonna try and find ways. Like, if yellow's gone, we could potentially do like big uh, map trading here, right? Where we're just cackling. Oh, he destroyed my dock. Okay, so that screwed up my food. So we need to go get some bills down there if we can, if we have any nearby. You guys come. Let's do this. Pretty big body of water. We can honestly just move all of our uh, boats up there, all of our fishing boats. Let's do that. All right, let's head down to Yellow's Lands and party. Try and get some money while we can. Um, we're probably going to want to mix in some barracks now, too. Get the horsemen fully upgraded for when the time comes. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Um, yeah, the extra elite cab upgrade. How much is that? It's a thousand for that biology? Man, that's expensive. All right, cool. So that's back online. Get you guys going here, and then we can go back to Yellow's base, because that's just so many free resources. Yeah, the trade's okay. It's not insignificant. All right, so no more villagers. We have 132. Our eco is already way too big. But it's fine, since we're just being greedy. Um, fishing boats are online, which is good. Probably could delete you guys. That'll free up a little bit of supply. Almost have enough for the uh, improved biology, so it'll be a 30% increase instead of 20. That seems pretty sweet. Although I think the tower upgrade just might be better. Um, stone bounty, it's improved, yeah. And then we have the... Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Let's get the biology, and let's go ahead and get the... Uh, yeah, we can just continue with upgrades. Looks like people are definitely biting it around the map. Depends on where you look. Our gold income is fine. How's the step readout looking? Let's have you guys turn in and come join this. And now we just start torching bases down. We do have the field engineering too, so we can we can start on this. And that will help us get through the base. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can get the basic versions and then upgrade it later, absolutely. Which we're going to do. All right, so just got to get that bounty money. Don't know what red's up to, but yeah, check it out. So the Mongols, we now get the... Um, we get stone towers basically now, which is awesome. So we didn't have that before as Mongols, but that's a, it's an addition to the most recent patch. I believe my Kashyyyks are more or less fully upgraded. Got to get spearmen. You never know. The blue thank turn. Yeah, poor Masso. It looks like he got he got sandwiched by me and another player. Always feels bad when that happens. Yeah, we don't really care about the piracy thing. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, that's... Unfortunately, it's on the other continent. Or other landmass there. Yeah, okay. Can't do that. Okay, you guys just keep doing your thing. Oh, good, and Teal is here, he's saying. Yeah, I'm hoping we set Teal back well enough. Let's go do a little bit of raid into Teal's lands, actually. Nothing like all in or anything, but just kind of, you know, tickle the pickle, see what's going on. All right. Get more of these. I am mid. <laughs> Quill is, like, giving away my position. That's pretty funny. Oh, this is so much bounty we're getting. This is so much gold. 
all these buildings that are being purged. Not to mention, um, not to mention the amount of resources. All right, let's bring you down here, and then uh, we can set up some uh, some relic grabbing traps. Okay, Teal is here randomly now. Teal's like, hey, what's up? I want to get in on the fun. I'm the worst player here, and I'm getting 3v1? Oh, that's really funny, dude. I don't think you're the worst player, man. Come on. Don't do yourself dirty like that. For me, it makes sense that I'm I'm going after him. Because I need the uh, I need the gold. You see them coming here. Let's go down here and loop. I think the relics are probably up that direction. Okay, so that's all looking great. Let's get all these upgrades continuing. Alright. Get back on gold so we find more towers. Let's get some prayer tents. My ponies are upgraded. I have biology, I'm pretty sure. Alright, unfortunately here, might be in a little bit of danger. I don't know if my army can win this. I think so, although he is China. I gotta destroy this market, 100%. Yeah, I think his army there is better. Okay, so the boys are on their way down. We're purging the gold for the gold god. And then you guys can go here. Do this. Outstanding. So can't let a neutral market live. Oh, well, that was actually a very even trade. Yeah, we... Oh, that's right. He's not China. He's... he's uh, Yeah, he's the other Sith. He's got a corner Ellsback palace, actually. All right. Um, is there any funny business coming here? Yeah, we have our tower positions. Well, our army actually won. Holy shit, look at that. That's cool. I'll take the scraps, dude. All right, so big production coming. Oh my god, my, my pathing here trolled me. Let's purge this gold from the lands. Keep looking through the main base, see what we can find. I don't know why they didn't build these, but I'm hoping he's got some relics like hidden away here. And we're going to be able to grab them. You never know. You never know. Oh, there's a Malian player in this game? Oh, I don't know if you know what happened to that doomed raid we sent, by the way. Yeah, I have no idea. All right. Uh, what's our eco at? 113. Uh, we're a little bit hard in the paint on gold, so let's grab some of you guys. Turn in. Turn in, and then we can go get on the sheep here. We should solve that problem. Hmm. Yeah, we need to get better trade going. Let's get you down here and just run into Quill's base again. Just say hello. All right, now we're going to go relic hunting and see if he has any laying around. I seriously doubt it. I bet you Quill already took them. But you never know. Oh, I see a relic on the ground there. At least the, the image of one. Yeah, it's probably gone. Yep. So Quill Quill has to go next. He, he took all, he took everything. It looks like he, he must have looted the lands. Yeah, and we just we just farm all this. I have to I have to keep going after you, dude. And it's it's because you're it's free money. It would be foolish for me not to. What the hell is this? Oh, looks like somebody else is fishing out here. Skeleton Mage says, I just want peace. Yeah. Talk about an OP wonder spot like this corner here. Holy shit. That's gonna be it's gonna be Gotham's reckoning when the time comes. Money. Alright, I think I pulled them in. All right, so you guys go down here. Let's go do a little bit of raiding. Check them out. I'm very happy to just kind of cackle up in the corner as well. Yeah, and uh, these are unfortunately just going to remain kind of idle here for now. And we need to go see what he's got up here. He, that's where he could be hiding all the goodies, you know. It's free real estate. Yeah, exactly. It's foolish for me not to attack. As, as evil as it may be, um, it's foolish. Yeah, let's get the stone bounty upgrade. Looks like he's got stone walls all over the place. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, where are those relics at? Are they back there behind that wall? I feel like they might be. I feel like they might be, buddy. Okay, let's go see what's going on. Oh, Blue is still alive. Okay. He's still check, ch chilling out. Um, what's in the box? I want those relics! 
I want it. <laughs> All right, so we got cannon towers here. Probably can start like just going a little crazy with that. <laughs> What's behind the wall? I know it's relics. I can smell it. My 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 nose is my senses are tingling. <laughs> What's back there? I must know, dude. <laughs> oh man, dude. Is this where all the goodies are hidden? Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. He could really be spiteful right now and leave the game, and then they would get stuck in there. Ah, I see. Okay. Dude, I've, I've come to this land to take the goodies. Okay, we got the two shaman nearby. I'm glad I I'm glad I had those guys at the ready. They should be here now. Okay, so we're torching that down. Good thing we got the improved stone bounty. Door number one, door number two. All right. Oh yeah, dude. Give me those precious. All right. Let's gather up the troops. You can come up here. Grab this one. One and two. I could kill him, but I don't know. Yeah, I probably should, honestly. Put him out of his misery here. Um, I think he's got an L's back in the corner, though. We'll leave a ram here just to, like, park. Okay, let's get the sheep moving up here. Yes. That was, um, that was a good little catch there. And then we bring this back here and turn those in. That was a overall very successful situation. Okay. We'll set up some towers here. Create like little border territories. Yeah, we have cannons mostly, it looks like. Yeah, he's slowly building them. I think there's like literally one dude who's building all that, which is funny. Come on, fishing boats. All right. So we're going to pack that up and then we'll take it to the north. And then we should be all good in the neighborhood. Let's get Tithe Barns. Uh, cancel you. I don't know why I was building so many Jesus. Oh, that Elsbeck is going to be tough to take down. It is, but this is big because it would allow us to optimize our trade pretty well. We could take our, uh, our market down there and have some good long distance trading. Quill, that was quite rude. Yeah, it looks like Quill's not making too many friends. All right, um, improve biology, sure. Let's get those strong Mongol units. Maso is a great sport, absolutely. I took his relics. See, he's threatening me, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call the bluff. All 500 of them. <laughs> All right. So we're knocking down the walls here. See where pleading gets you, mass mass of you is ruthless. Oh my god, that's so funny. All right. So we can go ahead and set up a tower here. We're just going to be packed north and set it up there. It's going to take a while to get the old L's back down. He might actually be able to stabilize it. <laughs> he says JK had zero relics. Turn is almost dead in the far west corner. Oh, that's really funny, dude. <laughs> Maso's a true Chad, man. Yeah, he's great. His last act of defiance. Alright, let's get you up here. Do that. And, um... What the hell were we gonna get? My brain is just, like, giving out on me right now. It's like, I'm too weak. Alright, let's go up there and grab that. Alrighty, cool. So that's going to be the end of the road for him. Um, now we can take these guys. I believe I had a couple of bills over here still. Yeah. We can come down here and set this up and... Uh, Godspeed, all warriors. Alright, back at you, man. Okay, cool. So do we still have the silver tree? I think we do. We can keep producing. Yeah, it's up here in the corner. And then we can get the stone trade. 
Cool. We'll see if we can optimize it. Uh, honestly, why that corner when I have like this up here? This is just as good. So probably would just do this. All right, set it up. Outstanding. Enemy destroyed skeleton mage's landmark. All right, let's gather up. We see some random dudes here. The landmark is the relic has been taken back to the promised land. We have plenty of sheep now, which is great. Good defense, yeah, I would say so. The trade is, like I said, not amazing, but it, it will be soon. All right, so let's grab all of these guys, traders, and when this finishes, we can send them that way. Kashiks of Doom. Let's keep banking resources. Get all that. Probably need to build some siege workshops in my base. I don't have any at the moment, so it's a little bit potato. Man, Mongols and FFA are really good. Holy shit. It's like a, it's like a whole nother game. It's like you're playing your own mini game of sorts, dude. Okay, we're gonna gather up here. We have the ham networks, I believe. We can keep saving up stone. Fishing is good. We're just banking a lot of resources at this point. Where's my lumber economy at? Yeah, I have some here. Yeah, they're all over here. That's right. The ham networks. Alright, so we're gonna go take these guys out if we can. See if he's watching. He's probably not, honestly. Probably busy elsewhere. Man, I do not have a lot of archery ranges. Do those not get finished? That's gonna be a lot of ills going down for old Quill. That's basically his, probably his whole wood economy. Oh, that's brutal. Man, he just lost a whole lot of shit. And yeah, you're not going to get away from the Mongols. Even if he tries to flee north, we have cannon towers waiting for him up there. Looking good. Okay, outstanding. I don't know how much better that trade's going to be. But um, hopefully it's decent. He just tried to build a post in my base. That's really funny. Alrighty, so we have you guys. We can start setting up some of these. Um, so Masso's dead and Skeleton Mage is dead, but Red is still fighting J. Cole. So yeah, that's uh, that's something. Almost there. I'm just curious about spacing on that. He obviously probably has good armies. Okay, so that's all set. Quill has 30 what? Oh, great bombards? Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. I just hear explosions from my rat's nest. <laughs> Is what he's saying? That's so funny. Just from his little, his rat cage, he's hearing them. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, let's head down here. We're gonna start on those. I come to your aid. If that's what you're asking. Oh, look, I, I came to his aid before he even uh, before he even asked for it. Hell yeah, dude, let's go. The, the Dread Tyrant must be stopped. All right, so we're gonna try and get into his base. We just did a lot of damage to his, uh, some elements of his eco. Perfect. All right, so the slow and steady push into his base. Quill's sweating bullets a little bit, which is good. My rams are not upgraded, kind of annoying, but hopefully they will be soon. My army's obviously gonna lose. Uh, I don't have the reinforcements. But we're gonna we're gonna try and get in there and do some havoc into his eco. Alright, let's go, baby. Alright, so we're doing a ride by here with these guys. Whoa, low, low. Oh, look at that. Ventus with the big... Holy shit! He, they weren't joking. I thought they were exaggerating when they said he had all those bombards. I thought that was exaggeration. Alright, so let's get in here. Get a little bit of raiding. Nice, nice. Torch farms for money. Take the scraps. Oh my god, homie literally does have a million great bombards. That was not an exaggeration, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so let's get you guys. Let's go look for some lumber over here. 
I'm taking down a little bit of rating on the backside. If, if red is like pushing with me, then we might actually make some progress. Yeah, I have to see what he's got here. He does have those bombs. Jeez. Yeah, he, he, he is going to be very scary. Our supply lines are very far, but I don't feel like investing in like going all in on him. I just kind of want to keep him from killing the other players. I mean, I'm still going to help. But um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Do some win. eco damage, eco damage. All right. Make archers, just keep it cheap. And we do have the resources we're looking for. Perfect. Alrighty, so the party is, is getting going. He is trading too. He's got the great bombardment placements. All right, let's go see what the front of his base looks like again. Running there, the ram's coming. He rebuilt walls, which obviously he knows how to play, so he's gonna do that effectively. Do that. Call for help from Ventus. Yeah, Ventus, Ventus called for aid and we, we did answer. We did answer indeed. Probably should make sure to get my uh, prime time upgrades here. All right, Rams, get in there. Let's go. The dreaded Kashyyyk Legion is here. Wood's a little bit tight. Um, we need to set that up. Fortunately, they're doing some long distancing. Would you guys go and switch to wood. Round two, fight. We have to, uh, We know he's a Conk 3 player, so taking him out is going to be give us the best chances of winning. If, like, the Haggard Alliance can form. Okay, almost through. Alright. Moving there, moving there. Get the Rams going for the keep. Skeleton Mage has left the match. Okay, so another has fallen. Uh, we can actually just start purging here with the Rams. Meanwhile, uh, the ground-based troopers can do their thing. Dear God, dude. Those bombards are just so nasty. Oh my God, he's got so many of them. He's just camping too. He must be getting attacked on two sides. All right, so let's start attacking here, taking villagers down. Yeah, any eco damage we could do. I wish they did friendly fire damage. Okay, Rams are making progress though. He's, he's losing buildings and we're getting bouncy, so it's worth. All right. Yeah, I don't know, you know how we uproot his bombard position. Honestly, we'd have to get so many spring ults. His actual army isn't that big. You can see our Kashyyyks here are trading pretty well, it would appear. Although those are horsemen, yeah. Yeah, we see his marketplace back there. Okay, so I think we've done enough. You attacking, Red? Is Red doing it? I don't know if Red actually is helping. Okay, perfect. So we see some bills here. Some bills here. That's pretty unfortunate timing for him. We just discovered a bunch of his migrating villagers. Alright, so let's keep moving in. Keep trolling. Yeah, he rebuilt the walls again. Clearly he's got the micro to do that. And uh, yeah, his, his villagers here are getting hammered. Need to make sure they don't get away, so let's chase the one in the lead of the pack. And gather up here. Um, let's get some bombards. We have the money to. It's good that he's like being perceived as the villain, you know, even though I have a pretty good little position as well here. All right, so we got you guys. Looking good. Ah, oh, he's trying to get lumber. He's hurting for lumber. That makes sense. All right, Bombardos. Let's go, my gremlins. Hmm. The horsemen wait at the gates. And it looks like, yeah, the last of his bills are going to go down here. <laughs> Look, Blue is helping. Blue's like, I have to help. I must help. All right, let's set up towers here. It'll make it easier to get in. All right. So you guys just, like, finish off all the towers here, so it's, like, a little easier for us to get in there, and we just run back to his farms again. All right, you guys can start going here. Those great bombard emplacements are nasty. All right, how are we looking here? We're going to have some rams coming. 
Got 13 bills. Um, now we need to go find some gold somewhere if we can. So I believe there was a node here. Yeah, there was. Great. All right, so we're up on his farms now. This is going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to slow down his eco a bit. Especially if he's actually being attacked by other players. A little like Haggard raiding like this can certainly make a big difference. Oh, hello. They felt like going on a, a wild goose chase there. Okay. One, two, three. Keep the old Ramstein going. Bombards will give us some steady progress. Um, as far as like big prime, prime time upgrades go. Yeah, let's get the army tactics improved. Siege works improved. Siege engineering improved lets us build some cool, cool stuff actually. How are the raids going here? Pretty good actually, yeah, he's, he's suffering. So what happens when your reputation precedes you, you get to, you know, you get to cackle here. All right. Back to food you go. We found it. Come on, Bombardos. Let's just make some, like, gold intensive units to save wood, actually. Interestingly enough. Um, we definitely have some insanity defenses going. Um, this border here isn't enforced quite to my likings. Obviously, people could land if they wanted to. Yeah, I don't have good supply lines. I really don't. He's able to He's able to muster out some defenders. Oh, yeah, okay. He's paying attention now. Dear God, look at that. No wonder. He definitely needs to die. That is, like, that is a brutal amount of, of stuff here. I mean, I could make some springs. Like, I don't know if that's even worth it. They're pretty, pretty wood intensive. Okay, let's do that. I'm go here. You can come up here. Set up shop. The fact that he's enduring this means he must be pretty good. Yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving. Uh, yeah, I'm saving mostly. Improved siege works. Uh, our spearmen are not elite yet. Probably should get that going. Those great bombards and the choke points, dude, are just so punishing. That's some wild shit. How are we looking here? Let's get the food gathering. He's obviously rewalled. So let's check. Nope, he hasn't. Um, do I want to spend all that wood? I don't know. I think just raiding him is the most efficient way to help the other players. Oh, God. <laughs> that position, dude. How do I get those guys? All right, let's clean up whatever we can. And pull back. <laughs> Yeah, the Ottoman free units are helping. Yeah, as it should. Yeah, every sub should have something they're good at. Alright, pulling back, pulling back. <laughs> I don't know what he's even saying. It's something he ain't happy about. Okay, how are we looking here? Okay, we pulled him out of his base, and so now hopefully the Great Bombards are nowhere to be seen. Men at arms are on the way. Hopefully, we kill a lot of these these janissaries. Let's focus them. Um, let's go scout around here, see what's going on. Make sure he's not doing anything funny. That's going well. We're banking resources. <laughs> Quill says he's banking redwood. Oh man. Okay. All right. The rat army continues its harass. Sneak past them. If his great bombards aren't positioned, we can get to his eco. But yes, his free units are helping him. All right, so let's do this. Go down here. Holy shit, look at that position. He must be losing ground to other players, though. He must be. Okay. Okay, let's get you guys over there. What is our eco at right now? 116 is pretty good. We could do the spring pushing. Let's test the waters on that, although I guess we're supply blocked here, so... That ain't gonna happen. Improved Scythe Barns, yes, let's do it. And yeah, we're gonna do a little pushing. Seeing what we can do here. Make another wave of those. 
I don't have any rams yet, so we're going to poke in one more time just to free up some supply, and then um, we'll start exploring there. Captain of the Seven Seas. I'm thinking about maybe getting some naval upgrades too. Yeah, we'll just like slam those, jam space jam those upgrades in there. Let's go see if we can do some diving. Go loose formation. Okay, it looks like he's busy defending the other side. So we'll go see if we can help while we raid his farms with those guys. Okay, outstanding. And let's get that raid party going. Outstanding. Red's here too. Ah, oh, this is where he is. Okay, he's just chilling back here. So he's pretty much given up the front of his base. All right, so once we get the rams here, should be able to do some work. Looks like the front of the base is more or less compromised, so now we can start farming. Enemy destroyed dead air's landmark. Okay, so somebody's losing a landmark here. Okay, looking good. Gotta save some resources. We got the dread uvu. It's so nice that Mongols don't need stone to build, obviously, to build uh, landmarks. That's a, that's a huge boon for them. We're gonna farm some resources here if we can. Yeah, if only this trade post was a little bit further up. Okay, so getting the goodies. Uh, my con? Oh, I thought he. Yeah, I forget. He died earlier. He was. He was around. He'll. He'll be on his way soon. Okay, so we have the the border standoff here. A little bit of a uh, friendliness of the borders. I'm just keep in mind fighting. Um, so behind me, yeah, Ventus is saying he's behind. Me. What do we got in the corner here? What save is it? So it'll be a handful of uh, folks who will be in the grave. Okay, let's pull these rams back. They're just getting great bombarded, and we're going to push up here and see if we can find any freebies. Go, Kashyyyks! So cool. Such a cool unit. All right, cool. So they're going to go build that. We're going to take these rams over here, go knock down these walls, see if we can discover any vulnerabilities around. Um, you guys can go ahead and build some more of these. With our dreaded stonewall towers now. Pretty nasty. We're going to just start upgrading some of these. Alrighty. Hate spending this wood, but... It's the nature of the beast. Green is up there. It's Jordan. Let's go see what's here. All right, let's go. You guys and you guys. Go push in from this side. Should be able to get some free real estate over here. Those bombards are just kind of very static, so... Pushing a couple angles I think will be smart. Uh, don't see blue turn. I almost have him. <laughs> what? Why are you killing blue? He's killing blue? All right, so this is the dead air down here. We're just looking for another sneaky sneaky. Oh, I see it's my wall. You thought that was my base. Oh, it is your base though. It is your base. <laughs> I see. I see. All right, we'll park these guys in front, do a little bit of dual raiding, kill these bills while we're at it. Screw it. You know, he's still going to be an enemy at some point, so. All right, so we'll take the resources. We got you guys. Uh, is there any more gold around to take? I think there is, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a gold node here. Cool. So we'll go take that. You guys can go here and take this. Hmm. Dude, he's got like all these these haggard bombards, dude. They're always ready to go. He, he probably hasn't lost one in a long time. Oh, the choke point! <laughs> it's got obliterated right there, dude. Alright, cool. So he's got those bombards chilling. Red's walling him in, it looks like. No. Okay, looks like people are hiding in the battering rams. Quill is uh Quill is here with a lot of idle dudes, so we're gonna start chasing, just torching the farms, putting him to the torch. Holy shit, what is this? Look at Jordan's dread legion, dude. He's chasing me with a, a million scouts. What the hell is this? All right, give me the bounties. Give me the bounties. All right, so that's nice. Let's loot you guys. We have no need for them anymore. 
the era of religion, it's the enlightenment period. The religion is gonna gonna take a break here. Path, we're out of the dark ages. Oh yeah, he's he's wanting. He's wanting it. Why do you have 200 scouts? Just shows up, has 200 scouts. Oh god, he's moving all these vills to their doom. Oh man, okay, we gotta like, we can't let him. We can't let him rebuild here. Okay, where's he going with these guys? We can't let him Spiegel us. He's too good of a player. Alright, let's go down here. Not sure where he's going, but he's going to encounter some, some resistance of sorts. Okay. He found my trade. Interesting. I don't know how he knew it was there. He must have scouted. Uh-huh. You guys move up. Take that down. Back here. And yeah, he's basically dead. His eco's all gone now. Hmm. Yeah, he's got a little army over here. It's cute. Um, traders, what do we want to do with them? What do we want to do with them? He still has his great chunguses here. Trolling about. Okay, so we're going to move into the base here. We're still torching buildings. And uh, yeah, now we've just encountered his army here, so should be able to head him off, punish him. You guys take down this knight, please. Thank you. Yes, my rams. Yes, my pretties. I'm just killing traders, unfortunately. There's nowhere for them to go. Uh, let's grab our traders, and we can just have them do this. Just the, the janky trade route. All right. So blue is still around. We're torching down military schools, which he probably won't have the means to replace. All right. Let's set you up. Outstanding. And then what we probably want to do also is a little bit of insanity development. Like a little craziness. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Should be fun. Alright, let's fight these guys. GG gents, good playing with y'all. Oh, was he actually killing him? Yeah, this base we could obviously farm for resources. The Great Bombards have finally moved over. He's the Dreadlord of Artillery. Okay, let's see if we can find our way in here. Hopefully somebody else is attacking him, you know. I would hope that would be the case. And it's not just me being a fool of a chook. Okay. So yeah, he's going after these random towers here. Probably not going to be able to do a whole lot. Maybe he'll get one. Moggles cackling with their new stone towers is pretty great, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so let's just run across, keep raiding his base, killing whatever we can. Eventually he's going to have to move out. Not anymore. You killed it. Yeah, alright. Perfect. Let's come down here, do a little bit of trolling. We got red here. Alright, this might be the time. Might be the time. Those freaking emplacements are so scary, dude. We need to like fan out our army and fight on a couple fronts, otherwise his great bombards will just counter us all at once. I don't know if anybody else is helping me anymore. I kind of feel as if it's just me doing it now. This is all he's got is the Bombard Legion, right? That's like all he's rocking. Alright, let's get back up to the base. Can have you guys help here. And uh, overall, yeah, this raid has been diminished here. Huh, 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 huh. It's going good. Yeah, I get the little coastal emplacements going. Um, so red is probably strong, I would imagine. J. Cole. I don't think Teal's got much outside of the Great Bombards. Like, I feel like that's kind of his big hoorah here. Um, blue is dead. So teal, green, red. It's really it. Um, huh. All right. I think we're going to try a little something something here. See how crazy we can get. 
Still some resources there. We got our fishing boats ready to party. And uh, now we can do this. Make a whole bunch of you and you. Maybe cut a couple and cut a couple. Alright. It's time to drop the base, ladies and gentlemen. I'm usually too cautious and it loses me game, so I, I'm just going to go for it. I feel like I'm pretty entrenched here. Um, so let's set up these coastal emplacements. Make sure he can't do anything like that. And then you can, uh, you guys can just hit the wood after this. See, they, like the idea is they don't really have like a path with which to get to me effectively. So I'm kind of like feeling like an evil villain right now. You know, like I got, I got a lot going on. Okay, let's get you guys down here. My choke point is very, very strong. Red is coming with boats, but you know, I was kind of preparing for this. Okay, so let's get back to our base now. And you got you guys on wood, you guys on food. We don't really need food anymore, so I think we can just go finish these towers here. And uh, yeah, make all the goodies. Yeah, they're 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 like struggling at the moment to figure out like how to get to me, which is a very very good sign. Okay, we're just upgrading stone towers here. Jordan says he's got a big army, which I, if memory serves, I think is mostly scouts. Yeah, so he's chasing us off here. Red is going to be the first one to strike, probably. That would be my guess. Quill will come, but it's going to be a slow, slow grind. So we're going to go park the horsemen down here for like an ambush. And then try and snipe his bombards when they get close. Okay, we need wood though, like stat, because we're very low on wood. So let's get over here and uh, hit these trees. South side of my base has no defenses. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Our towers are fending them off here. Red's got to be gathering in a legion. Um, he says you'll see how I've been living, but whatever. Okay. Yeah. Now we gotta we gotta put some respect on that that army here. It's gonna be very nasty. Red's coming. All right. Let's fend off this first attack. Oh, he has no proper siege. He's not gonna get anywhere. Okay. So we can go down. Um, just wait here. We should might as well engage with it. Here comes Quill. The time is now, the reckoning. Okay, so he's making slow progress. Red is gonna need some siege. Okay, we got rams now, so we gotta go. We gotta go, like, defend this. Okay, so we wanna just hide you back here. Make sure we're safe, take these out. These guys are Netflix and chilling here. Obviously, these positions are going to be compromised one at a time. How long do we got? 12 minutes left? Eek. It's a long time. All right, let's go see if we can just steamroll this Roos army real quick. Let's put him down. The great bombard rat's nest has finally left its base. All right, so we need to gather wood, so let's just do that here. Okay, so bombards, bombards. Let's see if we can get all these. Ah, okay. Nah, it's not working out so well. His army's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pulling back a little bit. We do see him, uh, some big dark lord is moving up. Oh boy. These, these players were stronger than I expected. Alright, let's see if he's watching. Let's get on these. If we can kill a couple here, oh, that's big. Actually, we're killing more than a couple. Nice, that big, that great bombard snipe is pretty, pretty clutch. We managed to kill a handful. Yeah, he's definitely way weaker now. Oh man, these players are stronger than I thought. I did not think they would muster this kind of a defense as quickly. The roost player, thankfully, is just kind of chilling out. 
All right, so kill the rams. I think like our cannons here are gonna be able to kind of keep them at bay. Let's grab you guys, go up here. Do we need to worry about the dive, really? I mean, I don't know, I don't think so. We got villagers to repair, so I think we just ignore Green's dive. He did get my step read out here, which is pretty funny. All right, so the Trebs are taking their sweet time. All right, so let's ride out, see if we can get any freebies here. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. And then the rest of you guys can go up here. Yeah, cannons are just cleaning them up. Not so much. Purple's on the way, but they're like struggling to really unify with one another. Which is good. You see the Bombard Master. Ooh, the Ramstein Lord. Ay, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a, a hard ass hold. I don't think we're going to get it. There's way too many people to soak super erect here. All right. Somehow, some way, we still have our defenders here holding. I, I have no idea how this is happening, but let's not ask questions. Phil's clearing a path, but a slow one, albeit. Okay, take what wood we have. Thankfully, we still have a lot of wood income for now. Red has minor defensive force, but we might be able to crush all of his artillery right here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And you go up here, take these down. Green just kind of like running shit past us. Just fine. The bombards are not quite there yet. They're going to have their work cut out for them. Okay, we just crushed Red's army. That's actually huge. Because that, we might be able to focus on the uh, other side now. Okay, let's uh, just go mine some wood up here. Nice, 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 nice. That's pretty big. That's pretty damn big. Green's coming with like a million rams though. Jesus Christ. That's going to be a circus. All right, we need to just get whatever we can there. All right, so red's been pushed back. Green's coming with more rams. Eventually, we just pull back to our um, the white stupas in danger. Oh no, we didn't move our real TC. Oh no, these are the OG TCs. Okay. Holy shit! Look at that. That is that is a lot of stuff. All right, let's go engage there. Green's coming with max uh, rams, which hopefully we can head off here. I need the wood to keep building defenders. Okay, let's go here. Do that. How can we do? Forgot to get the EM networks, that's so funny. Oh no, I think that was the improved EM network, I'm not sure. Alright, so they're making progress, but we have time. Let's do this just to slow them down. They'll think it's the, their actual towers and may allocate resources to stopping them. Um, the Great Bombard Master is on his way. The question is, will he be able to get line of sight? Hopefully not. Alright, so let's get the Rams back. You guys have done a good job. Oh, let's go steamroll the Roost real quick. Um, we have to see where the Ottomans are coming from. Yeah, the root, their army here, they're still pretty good. We need to get down there and take it down. Okay, we got a big force here, including traders. Alright, let's go here. Take down these. And then you guys can go around the back. One, two, three. Let's get you guys to start sniping. One, two, three, four, like this. Yes. Yes. Okay, food is basically dead. I'm. Mm, yeah, this is way too early to have run out of food. If we can stop Quill's army here, maybe. All right, uh, so let's get you guys and get on cheap. We need to do that. All right, so how do we do here? Oh, he's got a couple left, which isn't good. Let's see. Yeah, no, we didn't do well enough shit. I think we're toast. We got a lot of springs, though, so maybe we can make a last stand here. All right, back to the last stand area, guys. Oh, boy, seven minutes is a long time. I'm going to have to really hope that the build, their pushes get less efficient the longer, the closer in they get. All right, so Quill's coming with this Dread Legion, but he's going to find... I don't think he can shoot up that way, maybe. All right, so let's get this. Let's get Mangoes in there. And um, we're going to need these horsemen to stop those rams, actually, aren't we? Yeah. All right, so where are we at with the bombards? Here they are. All right, let's do this. One, two. So they can do this, 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 and this. Come on, springs. Come on, spring alts. Little spring alts that could. They're trying. They're trying their best. Okay, let's get that one and that one. How are we hanging here? Oh, boy. Uh-huh. We got mass artillery now. How are we doing? Do we have any more springs? We do have 10 spring alts here. Ay, ay, ay. This is so close. 
Yeah, hopefully they'll start to run out of steam. I don't know if they're going to, though. They seem like they're pretty happy, to be completely honest with you. Okay, let's just get some upgrades popping out. We need to get you guys over here. Because Quill doesn't seem to have supply lines, so if we could just, you know, shut down to shit here, then uh, his bombards, then I think we're okay. This side's looking a little messy. Yeah, there's a lot coming in. Uh, let's trade. Looking good. Oh, he's only got one bombard. We don't need to worry about that. All right, let's grab all our military and head up here now. All right, Manganels, get back. Um, what is this? This is a prayer tent from ages ago. Okay, so he's got no bombards left. He's got like one. So we just need to hold these guys off, which is easier said than done. Because um, my income is basically non-existent now. All right, let's get you guys back on food. Back you go, back you go. Come on, team. And let's get the little spring alts. See if we can start cheesing some bombards out. Alright, let's get you guys. Maybe we bum rush this. We need to get these ready to go. Is there another way in there? I don't think so. Okay, so that's one bombard down. Yeah, we can keep working on those. Come on, team. Gotta watch out for the rams. Quill is just torching buildings. He does have his artillery core coming soon. Okay. Yeah, bombards are going to the coast, but thankfully they're running into cannon fire. Oh boy, this is a this is a hard hold. Yeah, the do host against me. I mean, yeah, of course it's very smart. He's moving up with a bit, but we have uh, we can get more cannon towers, which is great. All right, so let's uh, pop some of these if we can. Try and get a concentrated mass. Kill any artillery we can. Okay, let's pop this. Holy shit, that's a lot of rams. Okay, we got another bombard down. Now we just nail this big blob that's coming at us. You get it? Oh man, okay. Make arrow emplacements, whatever you got, dude. All right, we're up to the high ground here. He's killing landmarks. We have this one hidden in the corner, though, so we pretty much are impervious to landmark sniping. All right, let's get in. Get these guys ready. Villagers will all hands on deck. And, yeah, let's just do what we can. Do what we can, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's have you guys snipe here if you can. Oh, God. I might have pulled the trigger too early. There's so much coming in. The rams are just so numerous. We could like block them with our, <laughs> block them with our bodies. Ah, uh, three minutes. Yeah, we did well. I, I should, I got greedy, you know, but I always lose because I don't pull the trigger. I'm like, oh, I should wait another five minutes, you know, but yeah, I think this time we, we, we did okay in that regard. Okay, so he's coming for that booty right now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to live is the thing. They'll probably finish me off, which means we could probably get another game in, because this one was pretty quick. I mean, not quick, but we could do a casted one. All right, let's uh, snipe these bombards, if possible. Do we have any bills left? None. We have no bills left. Okay, Wonder's getting rammed. We got two minutes left. I mean, but they're at my doors. We're pretty close to holding, actually. But yeah, no, he got me. GG. Well played. Well played. We're close. I need to keep these villagers alive. Yeah, that was a sweet position we had, though. That was a really sweet position. They might leave us alone. Close. Close. Yeah, we were greedy, and we paid the price for it. All right, so we have enough for another TC, so let's do that. Let's have that there. Maybe the springs will stabilize up here, and we'll be allowed to live. Uh, plenty of relics north. Quill cackling on them. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm still not 100% dead. We have the silver tree, which is good. That wonder spot was so prime time, though. It was so prime time. Yeah, look, now they're all fighting over the relics. Yes. Oh my god, the amount of rams. <laughs> look at them fighting, dude. All right, let's pop these these damn great bombards. Okay, let's get these ones. We need to we need to shut his shit down. Like, 
Okay, they, they got that covered. I'm going back to my towers here. Okay. Lure the roost to the towers. Let's go, baby. Masso, if I'd let you live, you would be one more person attacking me right now. Yeah. Okay, let's get that going. And, uh, let's see. Can we get a prayer tan up? I wonder who's going to get those relics, if anybody's going to get them. Okay, let's do that. We're still in it. We're not dead. What do I have left? Okay, I have some military infrastructure. At Red now. He thinks I'm going after his, but Red doesn't. I was hoping you guys would kill each other. Okay, good. <laughs> the sprinkled. Uh oh, he's mad. The rat has, has retreated to the shadows once again. Okay, get close to my stuff here. So let's snipe this, 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 and this. One, one, one. Come on. Secret agent. Oh, come on. Head him off. We gotta get gotta get the scraps if we can. Come on, baby. Oh, there's Chelsea guarding it. Okay. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Yes, we got her. Oh, no. Oh, God. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh. Pull back. Go, 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 go. Up there. Oh, yeah, buddy. I got a relic. I'm back in this game. 100%. The rat, the rat. I've, 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 I am become the Smeagol, bringer of death. My, my northern, my northern base is in shambles. Let's stop this. Get all this wood back, and it's gonna give me some wood to work with. Um, I need to get fishing back online if possible. All right, guys. We got you guys. Now it's gonna be interesting to see who wins this. I would suspect Quill will probably find a way. Okay, town center and town center. Um, we still have the sheep here. So we're going to just like send Vils down there to party. Alright, and then we need to get some some uh, wood, which is basically non-existent in these lands. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's very, very hard to get the old hard wood these days. We can get a stable, build some cavalry up. Would like to repair the white stupa, but that's not going to be easy. Rams also make great scouts. It's true, they do. My spring olds will blot out the sun. Ah, we were so close to holding. We were like two minutes away. All right, so yeah, you guys get on the wood. Look at my con chasing these rams. Khan vs. Ram, the big fight. Dude, look at this Chad Khan just hunting his prey. Historically accurate! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we got that going. Um, is there any way we could get... Yeah, we need to get the white stupa repaired, that'd be nice. We'll, we'll start like a very passive repair on that. Yeah, and um, that will get us stone generation. <laughs> northern base is gone, yes, but what about northern, northern base? <laughs> yeah. What do we win this? Wouldn't that be funny? Holy shit. I don't think there's any way. We're like, we're like basically trash canned right now, but um, there are some trees about. We do have, uh, we do have some Tithe Barns action. I forgot Roboros give Roost gold. It's pretty, pretty good thing. All right, let's go get this. Let's go down here. Oh, I have my little scout bird. <laughs> Historically accurate snipes for some... <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so let's get you down here. We're just like desperate for scraps of wood. Alright, uh, where can we find any wood? Oh, Jesus. 
or trade far east. Dude, look at our con just shutting down the trade. Uh oh, that's not good. That is not good. Yeah, he's he is super far ahead. Dude, look at this con though. He's just wrecking these things. Damn, he hits hard. How hard did this con hit? 32. I'm doing my part. <laughs> I'm doing my part, baby. White Stupa is getting repaired very slowly. This is like when you wish you had the Cognate Palace, you know? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. Alright, we need to get a little, like, production. Dude, just far absolutely farming these guys. Quill is just cackling at me. Just looking, looking to run me down with a couple rams. Oh, he upgraded it. He upgraded one of the cannon towers. That's funny. Alright, Khan can hold position here. Okay, Stupa's coming back. We got springs. Definitely denying a bit of trade. Uh oh, we have a we have a Janissary. Several Janissaries. Flee Khan. Flee hero unit. Janissaries are a bit of an issue for me. All right, we need to bring our our mighty army over here. Oh, and he's blocking my wood too. The wood I need to get back in this game. No, no, Con, Con. Oh. Con! Make some horsemen. Sure, why the hell not? Alright, so the white sheep is back. Not that it matters. I guess it gives me a little bit of stone. We do have fishing up here, a very pitiful amount of fishing. Um, I don't have any rams. Rams could cho should cost six pop each. I know. If, if not for how good rams were, I think I could have held that. They were just so punishing. Um, do we have any siege workshops? I literally got just punished to the max. How dare you, dude? You think you think I'm just gonna let you take over here? Be the the Sith Lord? We're gonna park the springs here. Go, my Kashyyyks, take down the bills. Yes. Let the trolling commence. I'm not actually trolling. This is like one of my best ways to get back in the game is if I can secure this trade, so. Age of Spring Elves is back, baby. Thankfully, they don't hit very hard against these. 12 workers. Do we have any, any means of getting anything here? Naval trade? Is naval trade a thing? I mean, I'm, I'm trying, but Quill's probably going to win. Should have finished him off when we all had him at the base, but I guess it's my fault. I went wonder, so. Yes. I need this trade, Quill. I need it. What hell is this? Uh, we got Jordan rolling over. Getting nice and nasty here. Alright, so hopefully they can get that. We're going to torch down this keep. I don't know what these bills are doing. We now have a con. A battle con. Yeah, cannon tower there is a bit of a pain. He's not going to get a refund for that. No, let's cancel this and this. Let's build the dock. We might need to just, like, take some people on, like, a grand journey here. Alright, let's take this down. I'm here for the bounty. Sell some food. I assume he's busy fighting other people, or else he would just be rolling up to squash me. So that's that's the only reason I'm able to kind of get away with this. Alright, let's get a transport ship. Get a cannon placement there is fine. And yeah, he's going to get my springs now. Oh, maybe I can run the springs away. What building is this? The Khan is, is hard and ready to go. Okay, you guys load up here. Let's go see if I can find some spots to get some lumber. If y'all 
Don't stop him. It's GG. He's just trading so hard. Is there any wood here? Oh my god. No, give me some wood. Wood. Wood for the wood god. I am weak. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Jordan says he's trying. He probably is. I believe him. Um, Red is pushing. That's good. We're still checking and trundling and stuff. Okay, let's get the spring shooting there. Man, wood is just not existent right now. <laughs> He's got access to zero resources. I know. Tell me about it, dude. Tax me, Daryl. We're going to keep truffling about. Um, this is where all the wood's at. Jeez. We need to find a way to get down there. That's going to be hard, though, to get past his defenses. Got to do my best to make sure these guys are cost effective. Yeah, he's pushing with a lot now. A lot of Janissaries. Um, so I don't really have too many effective ways of dealing with it other than mass scouts. Mass scouts farming resources is probably my best bet. Okay, let's hit this. These guys are having a good old jolly time chasing. If we can, like, burn these buildings down for bounty. That's good. Cool, lost the landmark. Okay, that's progress. Let's get you guys back. Those guys are hunting. Prepare. Prepare. Okay, let's get the bills. Get them out of here. How are we looking here? Yeah, it's progress. It's bounty. Oh man, those those bounties are nasty, nasty. He's getting a bunch of money. Yeah, he's losing a lot of these guys though, for very little gain. But he's jacked as hell, dude. I was telling people, man. Can't sleep on him. He's a tyrant. We're doing our janky part though. Keeping it honest. Okay, so that's going to burn down. Now we need to go like super secret agent into these forbidden lands and try and get like some trees. If we can, we can continue the pressure. Um, otherwise, it's just not going to work out probably. White Stupa's here. Hmm. All right, so they've done their part. You guys, is there any other food to get? I mean, I could build pastures, but that just feels like super janky. Maybe just some like shoreline fishing. We don't really have shoreline fish. So it's gonna need to be pastures probably. Alright. Come on, come on team. Yeah, red should have a decent fighting chance, all things considered. Is there wood here? I saw wood just a moment ago. Yeah, like over here. There are a bunch of random ass towers there though. Let's see if he notices this. Oh my god, red is dead. Oh man, we're toast. It's probably GG. Okay, let's go for this. Got a tower being space jammed over here. And let's get that. Get on the wood. Gonna take some bills down here. You guys, is there any food? Yeah, there's a little bit. Uh, I see some wild trees around. He's obviously having a jolly time, but we're going to have a cannon tower here soon, which will uh, shut that down. And now we're kind of back in the... Not in the game, but... Um, at least in that regard. Do you have any these? Yeah, we can take these berry bushes. The dreaded late game berry bushes will, uh, will no no bounds. Let's make some rams and push through there. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alright, cannon emplacement here is going to be nice. Yeah, I mean, who's left to fight Quill? Ventus and Jordan? I mean, Jordan's really quite weak, and I think uh, Quill probably has this one. After I went all in on the Wonder. We probably could have killed him if we just committed to killing him, but then I feel like somebody else might have wondered, and, you know, it would be GG, basically. He just noticed. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's good. So that wood emplacement probably won't last super long. Probably want to come down here and move. Because he's going to see that. 
Okay, let's get you guys doing this. Get the dreaded rams. We got walls walling us in, so we're basically trapped. Like a rat. Let's go send these guys scouting. Better than just deleting them, I think. Vision will yield some power for us. Alright, cool. Where can what can we even do with these vills? I guess just berry bushes? We have the, the late game berry bushes, dude. Um, okay, so then we get a ram out of this. Do some shoreline fishing. Don't need that, that's for sure. Oh, Ventus going for a wonder! Wow, look at that. Okay. My 10 scouts help. Um, all right. I can attack from dead red. Okay, so green is still here. This is Jordan. I really can't actually help. I have like nothing to help with. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna go clear this out and get some bounty at least. I'm gonna just oh man, but if like this is this is a weird situation. Isn't there any way they can both lose? <laughs> oh man. No, I'm not gonna help purple. I play to win. I'm not I'm not trying to just spite Quill. He's been playing doing nothing but playing well this game. Hey, look at that. Nice. Alright, let's go get some torch damage here. Let's get some scouts. Dead buildings for you to burn. I know. You get back quick. We're doing it. We're here for the scraps. He's, he's talking to me as if I am not aware of the schemes. Um, Alright, so you guys, let's get this. Get another TC down there. We're taking resources. Yes, good. Good, good. Let the hate flow. Alright, where else are we guys? How's this going? It's been a good scrappy match so far. The dreaded scouts are on the way. Should I get the scout vision? So I can truly see my prize. Right, let's get a tower here. Ten vills. Let's get you over here. Um, probably want to augment the pasture economy. And then we can get you producing bills here. Here we go, baby. Here we go. We're getting some resources, but not not enough. He's got a bunch of cannon towers over there, so yeah, it looks like we should probably just come down here and clear this stuff out. It's it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't situation. That's for sure. These guys are uh, just so ahead. Okay. Okay, let's get this here. Go, my minions. Oh, this is purple stuff. All right, so it's helpful if we attack this. <laughs> the villager, the villager pull is pretty funny. Um, I don't think we have any wood there. Oh, is there any fallen docks I could trade with? That would be hmm. Any player docks? Let's go see if there's any player docks down here. That would be that would be something interesting. All right. So we're doing we're doing our part. We're harassing purple a little bit. Uh, you do this, and we can set you up one one. And then this can go here. With I'm pretty sure I just saw something here. Are these are these docks? Are they? Didn't I just see a dock there? Am I crazy? Am I seeing things? I'm too weak for real this time. I know. I know. We, we had our moment of glory, but now we've fallen. Mongols are really good in FFA, man. They're really good, though. I can I can totally see the strengths of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, just is cross, cross the channel trade. Pretty weak. Pretty weak. All right, let's build one ram just to come and have some fun here. Actually, we could just build, like, a single bombard to come nail all that stuff down. Go, my scouts. Okay. Yeah, that was the dock we saw. It was over there. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Kind of screwed up our positioning for that. Is there any way I could do this here? A little cross water trade. How much is that giving us? Three and three? Oh, that's awful. Yeah, it would have to be like all the way down here. There'd have to be like something in the corner. Alex, thanks for becoming a channel member. Greatly appreciate it. Bombard should be coming. 
Okay, that's actually something to think about. We have a, a market here, which uh, could be pretty substantial, actually. So let's uh, get you, move you up here. Orangey build houses look north. Uh, I'm not sure what he's saying. All good. We got plenty of their stuff to farm. Thank you, though. Alright, cool. So let's get the rams. We can actually just build one of these. It's fine. Enemy capturing sacred site. Wow, Quill's gonna get it. He's gonna get the sacred site before they uh, before they get it. That's wild. So Quill's gonna win off the uh, off that. Yeah, most likely. Damn, impressive. Hey, really appreciate it, Alex. Thank you. All right. So we got the bombardo coming over. That's just gonna target down the scraps here. That'll give us a fair amount of resources to work with. Okay. He's, it's pretty funny he's building houses here. Build some Kashyyyks. And now we can get traders, start gathering those. Wow, he actually got the sacred. He got the sacred, but I feel like, uh, yeah, if, if we let it, just let him have the sacreds, then he's not going to help with wonder. Hmm. Trixie Hobbits, as I say. What's up? Okay, so the Bombard Cannon can knock this wall down here. Farming builds. Okay. So these guys can just go slice some berry bushes. We got this going here. Let's take this down and this down so he doesn't like see what we're doing as easily. Uh, I won't delete this. I can't have this go on. Uh, <laughs> he's just getting tired. He's like, I can't hang anymore. I'm too weak. Is Quill pushing for the for the wonder? I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so these trade ships are, was a stupid idea, so let's just delete them. It was a power fantasy that was uh, short-lived. Yeah. All right. So let's get you guys. Have you come down here? Better than nothing. It's something. It is something indeed. Okay, so let's get you rallying here. And then you can come and just get the point set here. Yeah, if he's not going to delete the wonder, the sacred sites are ahead. Are you pushing wonder, Q? I don't know if he is. If he's not pushing wonder, I like it might be in my interest to deny the sacred sites. Is he, Ventus? Is he, or is he just going for the sacred victory? Is the question. Let's see what Ventus says. Otherwise, we'll just recap the sacred site or decap the sacred site to get the uh, get the goodies back. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so you guys uh, probably just head back to the base, and you can just farm cheap. Enemy destroyed uh, Ventus' landmark. 1-1. One, one. We need to like make sure the wonder is the priority here. This one's going to be probably pretty easy to decap, that one. Okay. Do this. Gather those guys up here. Oh, you can actually shoot that thing point blank. Okay. Yeah, the sites are being contested too. I hear they're doing that. But like... Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. Tricky pickles. It might seem like a funny idea, but... It will probably make sense once it all is seen here. Alright, so let's go decap that. And we'll threaten the other one too. We can't just have him winning immediately as soon as the wonder's dead. I know he's good enough to get that wonder, so we need to make him work for it. Okay. My dreaded scouts will sit on here. One, two, three, four. This is the only chance we have of winning. 
is if we go for this. If we go for the decap on the sacred. It's the only chance. We're playing to win. And are we gonna get it? Looks like we will. I'm getting stone. Getting a million stone. A million dollars. I just have a casual million resources here. Alright, how's the wood looking here? Okay. That's up here. Okay, we got the decap on the sacreds. Oh boy, but now Quill is just gonna... The wrath of God, the wrath of the gods is gonna come for me now. I may sleep now. <laughs> Alright, you guys push. You guys just push these random buildings here. Yeah, it's just torture every we can. I mean, is there any way we could possibly get enough to wonder again? Probably not. I mean, we do have a little bit of gold income, which is cute. But there's got to be some dark wizards in this game, dude. Alright, let's get you in the boats, do a little bit of raiding. Alright, so Jordan. Jordan, we must unite the haggard shitlords. <laughs> the unwashed peasants. Here we go. Alright, so we're just gonna like take down what we can. Do a little bit of this. You know, that's that's fun. We got that magic going. Let's just do some housing raids here. Okay, he's responding with military pressure now. Let's see what we can do. Come on, team. We're still in it, sort of, right? You got some gold. Wonder if he's actually going to do anything. Let's go see if we can find anything here. Uh, just, just harassing at the moment. Yeah, that's basically all we're doing. Oh, wow. All right, so we should be able to supply block him. We're the Lord of the Seven Seas. We're the Corsair Lords here. Let's get these towers, get these towers going. <laughs> yes, my minions, rise. Oh, the flex. All right, let's get into his base. You should attack also. We have to try and 2v1 him, but I, I think the odds are pretty low considering how jacked he is. He's been like trading like 140 trade for like 10 years. Oh, oh, go loose formation. Oh, dear God. His, him and his Chungus bombards this whole game have just been so devastating. Well, I'll be happy here if we get one. It's like 600 gold at least. Alright, let's drag another one down if we can. Hey, we killed three of them. It's pretty good. I'll take it. And uh, do we have any siege equipment here? I know we had some rams. Alright. You guys, let's come over here. Build siege workshops. A little bit of this too. Oh man, these res <laughs> this resource situation is getting desperate as hell. Let's go see if there's anything here. Enemy capturing sacred site. I don't know what my homie is going to be able to do. It's looking pretty bleak for us here. Okay. So our eco is decent. That ain't bad. Hopefully we get to keep this little uh, this little piece of Shangri-La here. We have the 10,000 stone. Well, low, low Red's army. I'm tempted, yeah. I do have one relic. Oh, I accidentally built spring all Zed Sox. They were supposed to be rams. Alright, let's get some of these. Get you guys come down here, do this. He's moving his great chunguses around. We need to just load up and continue these haggard horse raids for now. I think that's like all we can really do. Come on, team. That trade the trade has to go. That's the biggest problem is his trade. 
Okay, load up another one. Yes, yes. The landmark snipe could be funny. I don't know where all his landmarks are, though. He's probably, knowing him, he probably has one hidden. Yeah, he just... How did he know I was there? Jesus, he found me. Okay, let's see this and this. Let's get into his base. And uh, go here. Wood, again, is basically non-existent in these lands. So if you ain't trading, you're basically just a peon. Alright, so we got a lot of horsemen and Kashyyyks. We can actually build a somewhat respectable army here. Alright, great. So that's going to make that a little bit harder to take down. He's got sacred sites chilling. Good armies waiting on all of them. I'm going to go raid his base while I build an army here. With which to attack. I have a, f a feeling my ally is not very strong. Not by any fault of their own, but just by the nature of the game right now. Alright, great. So we're in the base. It doesn't seem to be too defended. Which is good. So hopefully we can get in there and cause some havoc. We've lost our vanguard position. So the troll toll has been officially paid. I can maybe muster like one more nice attack. Before all is said and done. Take houses down. It's, it's decent, decent free supply. 49 pop there. Is that a neutral market? That's no, one of his, so you can just rebuild it. Oh, those great, those great bombard emplacements are pretty nasty. All right, let's go a little deeper into the base. See if there's any like safe areas. Okay, this has been a really good game though, man. Cool's playing super well. He's playing like a, a true champ. Oh yeah, let's take down his military schools. Oh, he has a really good wonder spot back here too. All right. So the military schools are going down. Looks like green is decapping one side, or attempting to. Alright, let's fight. Let's go. Knock those down. Another military school should bite the dust here. Oh, that's a Jordan. Oh, looks like his base is actually down there too. Interesting. So keep knocking him down. The Khan has been killed. It's always the cons in the heat of the action, getting the biz. One more shot. Should be able to knock that down there. Cool. So let's hit that. Move in. Go loose formation. I like how, like, when bombards move, they just look like they're, like, haggard. Uh, they look like submarines, the way they move. It's hilarious. If I want to get burning oil, yeah, I might speed it along a little bit. Alright, so we're basically wrecked over there. Let's keep moving. These are his imams. Yes. Close. I'm close to it. Mm hmm. Trying to get to the sacred site. Ain't gonna be easy. Wood is just gone. There's uh, oh, that's a nice wood patch right there. Alright, do we have anything that can come down here? Maybe get this wood. Right as he asks, are you attacking him? Yep. Alright. Keep you guys there to guard. You guys torch that down. We got the decap going. All right. Yeah. All right, at least I got the decap, it looks like. Okay. So that's pretty big. We got that down. Now we slap up some cannon towers here to make this position good. All right, so we got the sacred site. Keep at it. He's probably, Quill's probably going to go for the kill on this other gentleman and then just 1v1 me easily because he's been trading for like 10 years. Alright, uh, is trade here going to be better? No, it's actually not, but we could actually rearrange the trade a little bit. Yeah, let's move down. Start pushing his base. Um, you guys, let's do this. And how could we possibly trade better? It could be like here. Yeah, that's not a bad spot. And then... Get some of you guys, do this and this. 
And yeah, just take building. Oh, hello. Hold on, hold on. Do you have any shamans? No, not at the moment, but we will soon. Ooh, that's big, yeah. The fact that we're getting that, we're getting a lot of bounty money, which is great. All right, team. Do this, keep going, burning shit down. Yeah, Quill's trying to kill the other guy right now, which is a good idea, for sure. But we're getting rid of some infrastructure and getting a lot of bounty for it, so that's great. Okay. I gotta just go straight to his base. I gotta try and buy the other guy some time doing damage. Uh, damage. Alright. So these guys are gonna go camp you out, keep moving south, you guys keep clearing, and heading down. Alright, so the two shamans should be on the way. Once we get out of this damn supply cap. So we'll delete some of these guys, I guess. Okay, team, keep moving in. Let's get to his farms here. Get on the eco. It's a lot of eco damage, but my man has a lot of keeps. Yeah, he's taking big, big, big villager losses. Huge, actually. So hopefully this will help homeboy out on the other side. Alright, so let's go down here, village those three buildings. Take this down to the military school. He's trying to muster a defense now. So this will take pressure off the other guy. Okay, let's get our traders. Uh-huh. And we can do this and like this. And yeah, you just gotta hold. Just hold, Jordan. Just hold. I'm in his base. Okay, let's do this and this. Shamans are on the way. Great, so that's going to be some relics for us. Keep the reinforcements going down there. We're going to need a little bit more production. Hopefully all these little attacks are actually doing something. It's hard to tell, to be honest. But yeah, those bombards are going to push, and we have some reinforcements. Okay. You go up here, buddy. Drop that off. And get this. Let's uh, repair this so we have one more landmark. If we can knock down a keep here, I'm going to be very happy. All right. Okay, so bombards, we need vision. Great, so the bombards are getting vision. You guys hold position to absorb the firepower for now. Uh, stables are coming up. Yeah, torching farms, great. And how much trade are we getting here? Eh, it's not, it's not amazing, but it's okay. Alright, great bombard. You'll never kill me, Quill, is what he's saying. Oh, I love the fighting spirit. He says, where is it? <laughs> cool, can't find the goodies. If we knock down this keep, then we pull back. Okay. Enemy destroyed Jordan's landmark. Okay, so we need to try and salvage some of these if we can. Get a couple of these guys to run interference here. We're getting that sweet wood. We are getting it. Come on, artillery. You can make it. Get these. Save it. Okay. How are we looking on this side? Looking fine. Basically nowhere in the existence of... Um, yeah, so we got to pull back to here. He's pushing pretty good here. Alright, so let's get these towers up if we can. This is going to be our point at which we hold. And try and do our thing. Alright, so then we can get these upgraded and just continue the raiding. Oh boy. Um, yeah, trade is something. Yeah, he's going to get that position. That sucks. Alright. 
Might as well fight. Alright. So we did some eco damage. Hopefully our ally is holding. Yeah, that's why I built archer ranges, because I need archers. So, they are coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sacred Sight is being taken again, which is really funny. Let's go over there, see if we can distract that. You guys go over there. He's hanging on to those Sacred Sights like a champ. Alright, let's do this. This. Do a little bit of scouting here. Alright, team. Janissaries don't have insane DPS against non-cav units, but yeah, they definitely do against our cav. So that's a little problematic. Just slowly creeping up. Taking control of the map again. Looks like Janissaries heading toward the base here, but I think we should be able to hold with the, uh, the emplacements and whatnot. Alright, here he comes. Yeah, if he doesn't have Bombards, though, he's not going to be able to crack us. Um, we can make some hand cannoneers of our own. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're hanging in there, boys. Quill's strong, but we he doesn't have the OP trade anymore here. Does he have a wonder? Wait, did someone just die? Oh, the con died. I was like... I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. What's going on here? Make some spearmen for all these cavalry. Oh my god, this has been a wild game, dudes. This has been a wild one. Yeah, we need to keep the pressure on him uh, to the best of our abilities, yes. We keep chasing down these troops. Um, we have control of this wood now, so let's do this and this. I straight up think we forgot to get the M network. Oh, that's the improved one. Okay, I was wondering. Okay. He might be able to break us here. It's hard to tell. His, his bombards aren't aren't properly attacking, so he's going to lose a couple here. I can at least put up a fight against him with these towers. Unfortunately, our supply lines are a little far away, but we are getting a lot of wood. Yeah, we need to get something to go raid that trade over there, too. Alright, so when the Great Chungus has arrived, we will push. We have a good, healthy eco now. Let's go down here and take these down. It's going to take a moment. Hey, Adzal, I'm doing great, man. Hope you're doing good. Having a, having a great time playing this game, as always. It's, it's always a good old jolly time. Not bad, trade. Not bad. That's going to be a nice little catch, too. Let's get some towers there. Um, send some spearmen over to go clear these houses out. We just keep hanging out. How are we looking here? Yeah, oh, that's where he's trading from. Jesus, 248 trade. Oh my god, dude. We need to go down there and shut that shit down. Stat with our whole army. Alright, let's do this. Set some towers up. Go down there. Do a little bit of split pushing. Hopefully he gets supply blocked. How is he? 248 trade. Jesus. Oh my god, I thought I was trading okay, but he is just... Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Oh my goodness. Good thing we have this thing to scout with. Why can't I move it? It's weird. Yep, anything helps. Anything helps. Alright. Uh, maybe if he could decap sacreds too, that would be useful. Okay, so we need to shut that shit down. Stat. He's getting 248 trade, which is literally cross map. And it looks like we may have officially shut it down. Let's see. He's pushing a little bit. It's all good. Alright. Okay, let's get that. Let's take these down to just shut down the trade in the immediate. A couple of you guys, unfortunately, are going to pay the price. But yeah, we need to just kill all these markets. Get these bills down, too. Not bad. Alright, so what do we have over here? Do we have any wood? We do have wood. 
Thankfully, our, our friend here, I'm going to delete this for him, is helping. I think he's he's in the game. Yeah, I can't pack up and move buildings at full pop. Yeah, didn't notice I was at full pop. Food's still going good, surprisingly. Could be optimized a little bit more, but... Is Quill, like, why? I'm surprised he's not just steamrolling. He's been, like, trading like this for a long time. Alright, so, like, where is his army? He's probably trying to kill the other player here. Who's just hiding his shit, which is so funny. Uh, let me delete these for you. No, no like where it is. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Checking to make sure there's no more trade going on over here. I think there's a neutral trade post. This needs to die. You can't let it be on his side of the map and we don't get it, so that's gotta go. Take that down. The great bombards are here, the Dread Legion. This is where we uh, this is where we meet our end. Our vanguard force will most likely die. Um, let's go here. I think we'd sneak some wood. Move around the top. Things are really, really tough to take down, dudes. But we might be able to edge out something here. We got stuff on top of him. He's repairing with the uh, Janissary guns, which is pretty cool. Don't know if it's going to save him, though. Alright. Looking good. So that trade post is down for now. Cool got something to eat and came back to the game. I don't think so. He's been microing the whole time. That would be really funny, though. If that actually were true. Alright, cool. So that's looking good. We've got that on lock. We actually defeated a small army of his. Not like a huge one, but... Did a little, a little something something. Okay. Got to keep that up. And then we need to do this. A little bit of that. I, I cannot believe this game is still going. This is just bonkers, dude. We have so much shown, too. Alright, so let's gather up our troops. Do a little exploratory action. He's got to be hurting on wood. Two. Okay, come back here. Oh, boy. Okay, so that should shut down the trade effectively for now. Let's see what's out, out here. He's probably saving for a wonder. Uh, which at this point should be pretty possible considering all of his wealth. Got the Dread Cannon Tower emplacements. Hopefully shutting down his trade there. Okay. We need to get you guys all sauced up. Let's uh, push into his base. Just a little bit. Kind of explore. Okay. How's this looking out here? Tower's looking mighty good. Holy shit! Oh my god, this guy and his bombards! <laughs> Quill is an animal with those things, dude. All right, so that that is not going to work out. Um, he's turtling back up in his base again, which I understand. Okay, man. Whew. Can't believe we're like kind of rebuilt here. We went from like five villagers to this, which is uh, pretty bananas. We need more of that? I don't think so. Quill's got his little uh, rat's nest empire here. Green is, is coming back. Let's load into the boats, go see what we can find. Gotta re-secure that corner. I'm sure I'm sure he's found another place to just feast, you know. His army again is very like stationary. Alright, so let's drop in here. He's coming for the kill. Ah, the army's decent. It's not like too crazy. Maybe we do like a flank on it. 
Yeah, I think we have to deal with that. All right, let's do this. Get those boats chilling. Get into his base. And yeah, we don't care too much if we lose this position. Why can we not? Oh, we're at max play, that's right. All right, so we just like snuck around him, which is very funny. So now we're gonna move into the base. Yeah, see, he's coming back with his bombards, but we can just flee the scene. With our sneaky sneaky, we can run over here. Okay, so yeah, his army is very, very static. Oh man, the game lagged there for a second, and I was like, is this the end? Is this the end of the road here? Uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna move down there. Our army obviously lost that, no surprises. Uh-huh, spears, and just make cheaper units. Great. A little bit of eco damage, we force idling on his farms. What's in here? A couple of horsemen hiding. The Khan, the Khan died on a secret agent mission. He, uh, he, he did well for his people. He certainly did. Okay. Grab a handful of you guys. Do this. <laughs> do a barrel roll. I know that's how it feels right now. See, defending these doesn't look like it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything to stop him. Dude, he's just got such a critical mass of these things that I can't even, like, get close. Yeah, now his, his troops are arriving again. Did we kill one at least? Okay, we killed one for all of our efforts. Okay. So let's pull back. As the units just continue dying, we need to get a critical mass here. You still at it? I, because he's, uh, he's, he's coming for me hard, buddy. His bombards are at my area. Dude, that army is just so nasty. I don't even know if I could take it head on. I'm like thinking if it's possible. Uh, do we have any more wood over here? Is there anything? Shit, 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 shit. There might not be. I don't know what Green's doing. He's literally sailing up through my lands. Okay, so the Bombardos are here. Let's take you guys, bring the transport ships up. Could mass some springs. Probably cutting wood bills is, is the idea. Okay, so you guys stay back on defense. He's going for the sacred sites, clearly. Did somebody get a wonder? No. The con just died again. Classics. Uh, right. Oh, we actually have something here. Nice. I don't know what Green's doing. <laughs> what? Uh, north, east. Yeah, this bombard position is so scary, dude. I mean, I could make some springs, I guess. Take a bunch of them and just hope for the best. All right, so let's go decap that other sacred site. No, we can't even get to that. Okay, so he's just pushing with his big Chungus army here. That late game army comp is nasty. Very, very nasty. Oh my god, Green just rides his knights over here. <laughs> Green! No, stop! We need you, Green. All right, I, I have an idea. It's it's we we're gonna have to defend here on the borders. He still has a decent defense force in his base. We'll see if we can put any sort of a dent in them, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, that bombard legion is very scary. You need to hit him, or else we're toast, buddy. We're gonna be toast to Rue. Okay. We're gonna try and make our stand here, but man, that's gonna be super, super tough. Um, probably need to delete some woodworkers. He's coming around the corner. The problem is the sacred site is uh, open now, which he can go for for sure. We'll decap that. This is just like a steamroller coming at you, and there's nothing you can do. 
I mean, I think we can make a hold in the point. Yeah, let's grab like all these guys and move up. And move up. It's only six springs. I don't know how many I need to one-shot those things. If I can defeat his army here, that's going to be pretty big. Okay, let's gather up. Okay, get back. Get the springs going. Dear God, dude. How do you stop that? Alright, so these guys have engaged in the front. Let's keep it up. Taking one down. Yeah, I mean, we do kind of put a dent in this front line, but I think we, like, legit killed one of those bombards, dude. Khan, finish it. It's got, like, one HP. Okay, we killed a bombard in some of his front line, but it was certainly not enough. Um, yeah, what units will be helpful here? Archers will kill the Janissaries. I think that's basically it. I can't always pack up and run. Are we just going to have to like bleed him out with attrition like this? Because those bombards trade very well into my stuff. I don't think people are going to want to play Ottomans again after this game, yeah. They're so punishing. If only my springs had a little bit better range. Okay, one down. We got the boys moving in. Yeah, okay, maybe another one down here. Okay, he's running out of great bombards. Progress! He's not going to get that sacred. Oh, we finally folded the attack. Yes. It has been stifled. Oh my god, what a hellscape that was. Okay, the wood being cut off is really bad. So we're just going to kind of like cackle around these towers for now. And then you guys, we need to find more wood again if we possibly can. I don't think there's like a whole lot left. I think maybe down here there might be some. Okay, let's take these guys. Oh, we finally stopped the dread invasion, dude. It got far. But um, at the end, we were able to stop it. Alright, let's go do this. Set that up. Okay. Yeah, it, it just we just needed spring alts, really. But like it didn't feel good having to spend all my wood on that. You know, wood's, again, very, very sparse. So we'll come down here, see if we can get a little cheeky there. Like, hopefully he's not going to be able to replenish all that, you know, his idea. Oh, I have a plan. It's a, it's a haggard one, but it's a plan. How much trade do we have? Eh, not as much as I would like. We need to keep this online here. I'm going to take the Horseman Legion, go see what's up. I need to hope that my ally is helping is really, really one of the big factors. We need my buddy to do his thing. All right, that's actually a good spot there. Let's go see if we could raid, you know, help out the homeboy. Get some uh, Mongol bounties, all that sort of good stuff. Down you go. Let's go loose formation, do a little bit of poking into the base. Yeah, no no great options here for me. Alright, yeah, every every little bit of damage we can do. Now we just like torch houses down, just eat it and get that get that value. I'll take it. Give it to me. Just gotta light him on fire, get the bounty. And great. This bad boy's going. Let's just keep distracting. Oh, well, I guess there's only going to be one FFA tonight. <laughs> I don't think Quill has the resources to wonder, to be honest. he He's, I think, green is maybe attacking him on the other side. I, I, I have to think that's the case. All right, so let's attack here. These guys can go ahead and set up some... Uh, just kind of teasing a little bit. Feeling it out. 
Okay. Yeah, it looks like our guys got cut down there. Should be enough. Having this choke be constantly like active is, I think, pretty good for us. I have like so much stone; it doesn't even matter. That element of things. We see that army over there, which could be well a load, but I honestly don't want to bring my relics out. I did manage to get three relics, which is cool. Those goddamn great bombardment placements are so nasty. Let's see if the Rams can get it done, though. Alright, so we're poking in. Hopefully the Rams will do some damage. Cool, cool. Probably should have made more, but no problems. Take farms down. Alright, so maybe we go a little bit harder here. It seems like he's like a little weaker than I, I'm, I'm kind of suspecting here. Right, you go over here. You go over here. Go on, Rams. Give me the Duhast. Yeah, he's losing bills. Keeps going down. Let's get a couple of you guys. Do this. Oh, wow. Cool. Might be getting sandwiched a little bit. Yeah, okay. I think he's actually legit. Nice. Yeah, I think he's actually in a little bit more danger than it would seem. We actually don't even need this. We can save the money. Okay. He, he's like, I got one. I'm going to die now. Farewell. Farewell, my sweet prince. You will be missed. Alright, so get as much as we can. Sounds like it could be a little bit scary. Thankfully, this is still going. Oh, Jordan, no! Jordan! We were such good pals this whole game. I feel like I've just lost a piece of myself. But what means what this means is... GG is that he's probably going to just be coming with a vengeance with like a fully erect army here. You guys come over here. Okay. Crazy game, I know. What's over here? Oh, dear God. He was playing possum the whole time. Or he was just annihilating Jordan. Oh my god, dudes. This is gonna be brutal. Well, we'll try our best to hold. Uh, chances are pretty freaking low against that army, although... Eh, we'll have to see. Yeah, he's shutting down our, our trade too, which sucks. Which mega sucks. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I can really trade with down there. Gather up our troops. Thankfully, none of these... Turn, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting you to wonder now. I was trying. All right, uh, do we have anything to do? Yeah, he's killing our eco. All right, let's push in. We're gonna have to last samurai this shit. <laughs> Eat <day. laughs> Hope he's not watching. All right, we do manage to get close, but those horsemen just get blasted the smithereens basically, so let's get the archers to do this. If we can like repel this attack, that's gonna be pretty fat. Yeah, he's got a nice little force coming over here, too. Alright, hold on. I was expecting to die here, to be honest. Okay. Uh-huh, let's get you guys. Do this. Go up here. And just kind of chill out for now. Alright, take that down. We have no gold whatsoever. Um, yeah, just keep selling. Keep selling for literally just pennies. All our trade is effectively gone. Alright. Oh, <laughs> round two, baby. Let's go on deathbed. Hail, I'm throwing the biggest Hail Mary right now, dudes. Alright. This is a Hail Mary. Hail Mary. All right, so let's go. Keep that trade coming here. Oh, okay. I mean, we do have a lot of towers. Oof. Going for a wonder with no resources is definitely scary. It is. 
All right, so we're getting that trade. Um. All right, baby. We're back in it. Let's go. Let's go hunt, uh, sheep hunting again. Now we just gotta hang here and try and hold. It's gonna be incredibly hard. But I do have a lot of cannon emplacements coming, and I don't think he can deny the sacreds. Oh, the Khan is back. Let's do a little like like placement here just to scout and see if he's like pushing that way. He could go for the sacred dub. Yeah, it looks like that's yep, that's what it's gonna be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep, yep. He's going for it. He's going the distance. He's not even going to bother with this side. Uh, on that note, let's grab some of you guys. Do this. Go down here and grab you guys and go down here. Okay, it's going to take him a minute to get there. But everyone else is going to defend the one, the site, including the uh, horsemen, which are just going to get wrecked by these trench guns. Okay, let's get you guys. Do this. And we can drop you here. It's time. Sacrifices must be made, horsemen. Sacrifices must be made. Howard Dean noises! Alright, let's go. Let's get this one. One down. Oh, slow as progress. Kill the mannequin. Kill them. Do it now. Okay. It's at the 13 minute mark. The Khan has arrived with the boys. They're gonna go fight the cannon towers here, fight the good fight, and then hopefully they can get this and this. Okay, baby, come on. Hold! Let's go, loose formation. And now we hold, okay. Ah, shit, I screwed up. He was able to close the distance. Does he have a religious character there, is the question? We got the decap going here, which is pretty clutch. Unfortunately, my springs just got karate chopped. Um, he's got to keep coming up there. Oh my god, they're not going to get it. And then he's going to reinforce it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Uh, let's get some chads down there, stat. Oh, dear god. Okay, so we need to stop trickling in here and just dying to a shit. And then uh, let's start getting some springs again. We're going to need the Dread Legion of those. He's probably gonna recap that one pretty easily, but yeah, he's got he's got time. Although maybe the bow chads will get there. It depends on how quick he reacts, really. All right, so the Chad fleet is coming. He's got his big Doom Legion moving this way. Okay, he's taking that sacred site, but he doesn't have this one. Okay, let's move up this way. It's all up to those Chads right there. Dude, we're so poor. This is like the shittiest attack ever. Alright, let's just fight them under the towers. Try and bring their numbers down a little bit. These Chads have to carry the day. And I have to play really close attention to when he tries to cap that. Okay. Okay, let's go, boys. Oh god, the Great Bombards of Doom. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just get some money while we're at it. The traders are freeing up supply, the old-fashioned way. Face the foot style. Alright, so now we go up and we snipe these guys, and we snipe these guys. Oh, the plays! Yeah! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody saw that shit coming. Well, he certainly didn't. All right. Yeah, let's go. Are we going to win this game? Are we going to win it? No way, dude. No way. He's coming with the great bombards, but now we just... He's going to beat us eventually in a, a fight. We just need to make sure he doesn't get it for another 30 seconds. He's, he's moving and grooving. He's getting there. Can we go down here? Holy shit, I think we can reach him. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, let's move it. 
Okay, so the sacred site's off the table now. Let's move the Valor Chads up. Oh, we got the big collapse. I don't know if he was watching. He's probably busy over there. Oh shit, we're out of money though. Here, straight up out of dough, ladies and gentlemen. All right, can we fold that army up? Send the traders in, sacrifice them to the gods. Okay, now it doesn't matter, the sacred site thing. God, what happened to all my food economy? Did I just like delete my bills? Maybe I pulled them on accident, which would be pretty funny. Okay, back you go. Let's attack, hopefully save some springs. Park the chads at the peninsula. Enemy is approaching sacred, doesn't matter. Oh! We still have this going down here. Is there any food? He just like can't replenish because of the food situation. Oh no, he's got, oh man, he's got so, he's so rich. He's so rich, dudes. Look at these bow chads of the gods. Ah, I don't see how I hold this. He's just gonna steamroll me. He's got, he's just got so much stuff. The coastal Chadwin bards are doing good though. The fact that he was able to replenish all that so quickly is definitely uh, scary. Yeah, let's do this. You guys up. Take down that top one. Maybe we get one here. I'm pretty sure those things one shot spring alts. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, one down. Nice. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take him more than eight minutes to get through all this. That's for damn sure. Could try and get some food going, but I feel like it's kind of uh, a moot point here. Um, so what we need to do is just uh, spam seed for chops, actually. Yeah, because that's the only thing we're going to be able to make is that with, like, with what little gold we might have. Oh my god! Oh shit, do I have my... Yeah, my TC still hidden. Okay. Okay, I mean, the army's looking not amazing. Let's upgrade towers galore. Yeah, not a, we don't have enough towers actually upgraded here. Maybe these managed to finish in time. We could send rams at him. Yeah, we're just we're just too destitute, dude. We're too destitute. We're too poor here. Oh, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's actually food down there. Oh, the dreaded late game Malian food find. Okay, so maybe, maybe, I mean... If we can get lucky and cheese these bombards somehow. You know, maybe. I don't know. I don't see that happening. A lot of those are finishing. Let's get springs. He's getting real danger close to that wonder right now, guys. Yeah, he's moving in a grooving for it. Okay, you guys need to come down and just get ready to try and desperation torch it. Okay, they are getting hit by the, the bombards. The cannon towers. We've got six minutes left to hold. That's a long time. All right, villagers. Torches out for the emperor. Okay, run, 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 run. We found the late game food. Oh God, and we have one spring ult here. The one spring ult that could. Come on, cannon towers. Dude, he just moved in with no shits given. Just absolute, just savage here. Come on, knock him down. The numbers are diminishing a little bit. With his brute force. Oh, but he's got another four right there. Jesus. All right, let's get on that. Come on, boys. Is the spring ult still around? No, it's not. Oh, get it. I don't think he notices. Build more. Okay. The wave is, the wave is down. Oh, he's got too much. I'm too weak. I'm too freaking weak. All right, can we go grab more food over here? Let's go get the Malian cow party. Uh, his guys are coming. Is there any way we could... I wish I could sell the... Uh, I wish I could sell my stone. Oh, man. Okay, that's going to be two springs, which will buy me a little bit of time, maybe. I could pull the bills from down here. Do we have anything on the wood? No, the wood's gone. So that's it. What you see is what you got, guys. Yeah, he's just going to park up here and just take it down. Actually, I could delete all these towers that I was building. That'll give me a little bit to work with. 
Do we have enough for another one? No, not gonna be the case. Uh, sell food. Bye. Okay. I do have the tithe barns. Are these actually upgraded? Not all of them. Okay, we'll try and get some upgraded. Oh, I don't have anything to repair with either. He's coming for that booty. He wants it. I, sh I wish uh, my springs had more range than his bombards. They're pretty chad, those things. Alright, so we'll scoot and shoot, do a little bit of sweaty micro. Come on. Oh, dude, there's just it's just waves. It's like it's like a horde mode, survival challenge. Come on, spring alts. Four minutes. Oh. Okay, yeah, we should have done that before. Oh god. Okay. Okay, okay. We're keeping them honest. If I had enough to one-shot those things, it'd be pretty sweet. Oh man, he's just gonna bro charge me. He's just gonna row her and charge me. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We got we got bodies. Screen! Screen them! Okay, another one down. Oh. oh man, what a game! I can't believe it! Man, if we had maybe been able to wonder a couple minutes earlier. Alright boys, let's go. I should have been spamming these guys out too. They, they have torches, so. Yeah, GG, well played. Crazy Haggard. That was a wild game. <laughs> Look at Quill. He deleted his bombards. Yeah. I don't think it matters. Yeah, maybe, I mean, it's it's another three minutes, so. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make a difference. I don't know if he's taunting me or what he's doing, but... Oh, he's got rams coming in. Wouldn't it be funny if he, like, deleted and then I actually was able to hold? That would, that would be hilarious. Yeah, we actually have some wood down here. I did not expect this to go like that. Okay, here he comes. He trolled one too many times and then the scouts came for blood. The unholy amount of scouts. Form a blockade! You know, we were close to winning though. Like even here, it wasn't like a couple minutes difference and maybe we are on to something. I'm I'm gonna keep scrapping, dude. We're gonna we're gonna keep at it. Okay. Let's get some horsemen, we get some archers. Hell yeah. Let's go. Rams are all up in my shit. I wish I could pack my wonder up and run it. It's not gonna happen. Those those damn Ottoman great bombards, but it's it's not even the uh, it's not even the what's it called the bombards that one in the game. It was like his trade. He was trading for like 400 round trips for a long time, so he must have been filthy rich, like filthy rich. Dude, Mongols crazy though. The fact that you can wander without stone is so big. That like makes them I think a top tier civ. Dude, that was a great great set of games tonight. Let's see what the map looks like. Uh, what does the trade look like right now? That's me. He's down here. He was probably trading somewhere. Dude, what a freaking rat's nest to the gods. If I hadn't moved out of the middle earlier in the game, we were just dead. Oh my god, look at the map. GG, well played, guys. Ah, it doesn't matter. He, he won the game. <laughs> Quill is a beast as always. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, let's look at the resources. Uh, economy... So Quill had the most uh, most gold, but I actually had the most wood, food, and of course stone being Mongol. So we, we did pretty good. We had 140, 147k, he had 235, so that's what won him the game right there. He was able to afford like 10 great bombards at a time. It was brutal. Uh, but yeah, really good match. Honestly, we were close to winning it the first time. Then they came in and wrecking balled me, but they let me live, which was close. Dead Air, almost uh, good playing with you. Hey, it was really fun playing with you too, Dead Air. I wish I could have seen your action down there, but it looked like it was a good time. By the way, if you guys enjoyed this FFA and all the memes we have here on stream and all the good times, do drop a like. Uh, it helps out quite a bit, as much as I hate asking for it. You find it cringy, it's you know part of the job. So, Thank you, thank you guys. Uh, Garlic, hey turn update, my leg will need surgery, so it looks like my competitive will be put on a hold for this year. Guess I'll be commenting on your streams full time. Yeah, man, join the party. Join it, man. You'll be back in no time. We'll get you there. We'll, we'll put on the show for you. Thank you so much, Garo. I really, really appreciate that. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Well played to Quill, showing why he is a Dark Lord and a Conqueror 3 player, translating well to FFAs too. 
So that was a lot of fun. See you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Glorfindel, showing appreciation for the awesome stream. Thank you for the 50. That is way too generous. And shout out to Wicked for the stream link. Thank you, Wicked. And a gem as always, if you guys want to come play, we have a super, super active FFA community. Uh, they're playing every single day. They are matches going daily. Um, really good group of people. You're going to you know, be dealing with fun people who are also good. So if you're looking for a community to play with, it's a, it's a great place. So we'll be back to 1v1s when the uh, expansion drops too. We'll be doing that and trying to get you know Conqueror again and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the other side. Well played to Quill, absolute Terminator. And that is going to be it for tonight.